<laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us in your ass voice out here sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> before we jump into tonight's episode, we do have some sponsors and others to get through for the evening with our first sponsor tonight, Cash App. Vince McSam, take it away. I wish I could give you the hot fingering action you crave, Matt. <laughs> Brought to you by Cash App, oh that's God. money. Oh my God. But alas, <laughs> <laughs> but alas, I have been vanquished. <laughs> I've been vanquished by... The thumb! <sighs> that's right, I whoop this what? cheating chode. Now, the Finger Championship Games belongs to us, the Finger Ladies of Wrestling! <laughs> the best part about beating you is that it was easy. Was it as easy as using Cash App, the easiest way to send, spend, and save money, the number one finance app in the App Store, and the best way to connect your direct deposit and get paid two days early? Even easier. Ah! I built the FCG League with my blood, sweat, and underhanded illegal contracts. What are you gonna do with my baby? Ooh, I say we just mantle the ring and use the pieces, ow, to build a traveling immersive <laughs> multimedia art experience called the Afterfinger. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about we convert the League into a scientific research facility that studies horse immorality? Ooh, Ooh, immortality. Or immortality. <laughs> <laughs> those are both interesting. Yes. I was like, no. Yeah. I'll take either. Well, those <laughs> ideas are entirely plausible. <laughs> I think we should turn it into a charity. A charity? Mm. Disgusting, outrageous, nauseating. <laughs> what will this charity support? The Thumb Support Network will raise awareness of thumbs worldwide, <laughs> empowering them to feel just as important as fingers. In fact, Hey out there, it's me. Superstar wrestling legend and popular role model, The Thumb. <laughs> if you feel small, funny looking, or not as popular as your friends, you're not alone. Like me, you're, you're a thumb. At some point in our lives, every one of us has felt thummy. <laughs> Yearning to contribute. <laughs> But not being able to, to reach as far as your neighbors. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> well, I'm here to inspire all the thumbs of this world, metaphoric and literal, to straighten yourself out and knuckle through life. You may be weird looking, but you're opposable, damn it. <laughs> and if you believe in yourself, you will give yourself a hand and nail it. Oh my God. That was beautiful, Laura. I'm still in <laughs> Well, if you hadn't dismembered my freaky toe fingers, I'd be using them to donate to this fictional charity with Cash App. Download Cash App from the App Store or Google Play Store today and create your own cash tag. Vince McSam is off to pursue my other dream, Sketch hand tag. tap dancing. Oh, what were you saying? Cash tag. <laughs> That's a different service. It's another money tag. Cash tag. Listen, I know how to read. <laughs> I know how to read. Well, that's the end of this ad. <laughs> and that's money. Matt, back to you. Horse immortality. Horse immersion. <laughs> <laughs> to be real. Oh, oh God. God. Every time I've been around a horse, I'm like, I don't trust this fucker. <laughs> like, I think it's important yeah, study. They don't this trust you. It's a little weird. Not a, not a lot of money and wrong. time going into that. I, I'm here with you. I'm behind you. <laughs> This episode is also sponsored by NordVPN. <laughs> Browse the internet safely, but most importantly, freely. Even when traveling abroad, you don't want to miss your favorite content. Open the map, click on a location, and you'll be connected in seconds. It's that easy. It is that easy. Yeah. Threat protection is a major upgrade of NordVPN. It's the next step in protecting the users by offering a safe and smoother online experience. With these advanced anti-malware capabilities, NordVPN has become more than just a VPN, it's now a powerful cybersecurity tool. <gasps> a VPN is just one of those things that are just good to have. Yeah. This two-year plan includes a huge discount plus bonus gift for free, so head on over to nordvpn.com slash critical role to try it risk-free now with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Nice. Nice. And our next sponsor of the evening, <laughs> DD Beyond! Do you have to do another one? Two oh, yeah. of them in you a row? You gotta do read two of them in a row? I'm taking this bitch. Do it! Do it! DD Beyond, they've been here with us for a long time, and you can become a DD Beyond subscriber this year and make the most out of your DD Beyond account. Share your content and unlock exclusive monthly perks at dndbeyond.link slash crsub. Nice. Share them. Share them. Share them. Share them. 
are. So, do it. There are some other announcements here. Uh, Sam Travis, if you want to go ahead and jump into oh, this. Oh, yeah, I'll take, take it because you, the film's so great. Next Friday, <laughs> January 20th, <laughs> okay. The Legend of Vox okay. Machina Season 2 will premiere worldwide on Prime Video. Oh my gosh, we are so pumped. All our friends at Tim House, we can't wait for you guys to see it. It's going to be lit. Uh, we will also once again be hosting, I use the young kids' verbiage, uh, a weekly watch party each Tuesday starting January 24th with a few members of the cast, some special guests, and our returning moderator, the incredible Mika Burton. You can find our full watch party schedule and more details on critroll.com. Stop the chain. Well done. <laughs> no uh, a quick heads up that with the launch of season two of The Legend of Vox Machina, there will be no new episode of Critical Role next week. We will be back on January 26th, which is the last Thursday of the month. I know we're going a little bit off script, uh, but that'll be episode 46 of Campaign 3. Radical. It's TV's Will for Dell. Will for Dell. Hey, Will. What are you guys doing? Pulling some dice and stuff. Hey, aren't you going to be Cash on in season two of The Legend of Vox Machina? I am. I cannot wait to come back. As Cash in season two of Legend of Vox Machina. Mark, how you doing? Um, very happy to be here. Very excited. Uh, this is the announcement portion of the of the show. This That's is. why I'm here because I have a very special announcement, and it's one we've been working on, uh, and it's actually really really cool. So Christy Carlson and Romano and I started a podcast called I Hear Voices, where we interview all these voiceover actors from around the world, and it has been a ton of fun. We've had a blast, but we have this dream that we've wanted to do, which is an American Idol style contest across the country yeah. to find the next big voiceover actor. It is called the Super Awesome Contest to be the next big voiceover actor. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely true. Uh, we are working with iHeartMedia and Amazon and we are finding the next big voiceover actor and the prizes are really insane. So the contest you're gonna enter from January 9th to February 9th, you're gonna send a two minute video, no more than a two minute video. It's very important because anything longer yeah, and it's gonna be down. too long. I'll two minutes, up. right down, <laughs> two minutes only. Come on, thumbs. That's, I heard the thumb thing, by the way, genius. Anyway, um, so here are some of the prizes you're gonna win. First of all, you're gonna win a trip to Los Angeles to have lunch with Will and, Will, that's me. Yep. That's written there. <laughs> have lunch with me and Christy. Not you. Uh, you're gonna meet for a one on one coaching session with the amazing Sam Regal. Oh! Yeah. And Mary McGlynn. Oh! Zara in season two of Legend of the Box Box. Uh, also correct, correct. <laughs> you win $1,000 the trip to LA, but one of the coolest prizes ever is you win a one year contract with CESD, my voiceover agency. Yeah, yeah that's so, so cool. So you really, and you get to be the voice of I Hear Voices and do some stuff for iHeartMedia. So you get a chance at a voiceover career. It's really yes. like a cool thing to sign with an agent, come out, meet everybody, come to Los Angeles. It is the Super Awesome Cotton, can you say the, the title the for super it? The awesome, Super Awesome Cotton Candy Contest. Nope, super you awesome. have lost already. It is the Super Awesome Contest to become the next big voiceover actor. Mitch, take it away, what is it? Uh, no purpose necessary. Entries will be judged. The contest is open to legal residents of the United States who are over 18 or older. There yeah, we go. He does it that quick. It it's it amazing. Can I have a take two? You can, do you want, would you like one? Go ahead. Super good. Nope. Oh. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's been awesome. You've been so good at this. But this is real, folks. So it's I Hear Voices and go to, it's the, uh, uh, I want to make sure I get the, the I exact website. I, I Hear Voices at iHeartRadio.com. Put in your entries. The January 9th through February 9th, two minute video. The winner is going to actually maybe win a career, which is. Pretty great. Yeah. They're, so they're bona fide. Cool. CESD yeah. is bona fide. Yeah. They're, they are Does it need to be the full cool. two minutes or is it no. up to two minutes? No. Up to two minutes. Okay. And just do a bunch of voices that you want to do, but if you want to do, like, it, it doesn't have to be one thing. So you don't have to just do funny voices if you're really good at doing commercial copy or you're really doing it, whatever it is, we're looking for a colleague. So what if you think you've got what it takes, you gotta step up and Make put your shine. voices where your mouth is. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be fun. That's it's very gonna be great. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so um Thanks, Will. Dang. That was great. Damn. What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just uh just hanging out. Yeah, just like kind of sitting. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Right. Well, we my car is running. Yeah, you should. Oh. You should. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I I no, 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 no. You no. should. You should go. I, yeah. You should, you should <laughs> go. Mitch needs water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mitch needs water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Love Have you. fun. Love you, buddy. Enter the contest. It's going to be a ton of fun. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you, buddy. Bye. 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 Bye.
Oh, that's cash money. Yeah. That's cash money. I love cash money. Well, I fucking hate that guy. I believe that concludes our announcements. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Critical Role. the top, two by two we fall. Will we meet our end or meet our destiny? Hold your breath and roll. How do you want to do this? It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our flight. There is magic and mystery. Who knows what will happen? He might. We never give up on the fight From the healer to the renegade We all share the same goal Adding more allies, taking more chances Hold your breath and roll It's Thursday night All ye critters, come join us It's time to continue our play. From darkness our friendship will rise But one thing's for sure We never give up on the fight Oh, get ready It's Thursday night And welcome back. So, last we left off, <laughs> Bell's Hells had come to the city of Eos, the city of flowing light on the southern side of the continent of Marquette, in search of information surrounding the research being done around the Omen Archive and the Grim Verity. While you were here, you uh, missed an opportunity at the moment to meet with Professor Khadija Sumal, but she should be in uh, for a meeting the following day. Um, while there, you encountered an entity called Adjudicator. These are engineered distributors of justice for the highest temples of Vasselheim. They're essentially holy hunters. Um, in the shadow of that fear and the information that Ebonai, uh, uh, Ebonold Kai of the Grim Verity, fucked that name up, didn't I? Um, better better than we had not been at the seminary for some time. Apparently, kind of. M- just essentially abandoning his post as one of the professors. You uh, magically persuaded the clerk of the seminary to lead you to the house where he lives um, and decided to sneak in there doing the reconnaissance mission. Upon going through there, you found that it was seemingly abandoned, slightly trapped, and then upon going into the basement, ran into two members of the Grim Verity. You followed them through a portal, met Plain Rider Rin, and discovered quite a bit of information about what might be happening, what the goals are of a group called the Ruby Vanguard, that is the, the Ruidian crew working with Ludinus de Leth and Orohan. And upon returning to this basement, discovered that the house was recently broken into and is being searched through by members of this Vanguard. You decided to strip your clothes off and try and convince them that you were filming pornography or something. I don't know. Um, oh my god. I leave for you. Right okay, no. Why did we do that? Welcome back, Talison. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> we lost our moral compass. <laughs> this is the most horrifying thing I've ever heard you say. We're in such trouble. <laughs> yep. Oh Which nearly did something. Uh, <laughs> instead, a battle ensued within this house where you managed to defeat this troop, grabbed one and absconded with them, found a safe house, and interrogated them. You reached out to Plain Rider Rin, and the members of the Grim Verity that you had recently met, and completed some of this interrogation for you. At this point, you were figuring out which direction to take 
as the time of the solstice is looming, and there are many paths to be chosen as you decide what your final affairs are here in Eos and what to do. We finished with you, Imogen, sending a message to Ashton, who'd been missing for quite a few hours, and you said... Something along the lines of, where in the hell are you? Shit's going down. We need to leave town stat. I want my money back. <laughs> Something like that. Bitch. <laughs> you hear back from Ashton. Yeah. Okay. I'll head right towards you. It'd be nice if you told me where you are! <laughs> <laughs> you can't reply to this message. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Do you him? have any more? No. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. I used my sorcery points to get back a third level so that I, I could. I did not take that spell today. <laughs> I can use a fourth level, I think. <laughs> yeah, you can You can use higher level spell slots. Right? I'll just waste a fourth. You're such a dick, you could have said where you were. I know. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right. Yep, that sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I think right. the question was, where are you? Yeah, yeah no. that was you the said, question. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. I, I wouldn't have told you anyway. That tracks, that tracks. Fourth level. Yeah, you should. I feel like you where, should. Wait, where are you guys right now, out of curiosity? You, you, you don't know. know. You don't know. You, you. I know where I am, though, so it's possible that you could run into me if you're where I am. Actually, possible. where are we right now? We're in, we the, were do right we're in the docks. docks. That's right. And Eastside dogs. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to okay. send a message. Plane ride, before you send okay. that message, plane ride, just talking to Matthew, our yes. lovely uh, game master. Uh, plane rider Wren took off with the elementalist, right? Correct. Handed okay. them oh, no, over. I thought no, 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 no. The elementalist was left in the safe house, kind of in a, do in a docile, charmed state. They just kind of sat yeah, down. Got all like, oh, okay. And who's, but we're with him, but we're not going to be soon? We should him take with. him with. Us wherever no, we go. Seems totally with Rin, right? He's just, no, Rin he's left just a him in right the now. warehouse with us. Yeah, and so Rin if wanted we off leave to handle him, some of the business. It's possible that he will just sit here, but it's also possible something could happen to him before okay. Plane Rider Rin comes back. He might think so we, we want should... sandwiches and go out to get them for right. us and make problems. Yeah. So. Should probably take him with us. <laughs> and do what? I'm going to send a message back mm -hmm. to Ashton. Yep, that's one. Yeah, size one. One word. <laughs> Feels like five. <laughs> Less size. <laughs> what? Extended pause. What? Another five. <laughs> Teeth. Tooth. You know. Yeah. Is that is that you know or you know? You know. Mm. I'm just gonna assume we're headed towards a seminary here in a bit. So that's where we'll meet you. So that's where we'll meet you. Repeat it just Okay. Shimmy Shorts. Okay. Okay. I'm going to murder them. <laughs> Fourth level, okay. I'm heading towards the seven. I love so it. So much magic for an okay. Oh yep. It's what are we doing with this person? We're just leaving them. Uh. Want to put him in my, my chest cavity? I kind of do, yeah. I mean, we'd have to chop him up into little pieces. You start at the joints and take care of the tendons first, and then they just fall right up. Real quick. Well, um, I hear. I mean, we should probably take him with us. Are we, is he going to be able to walk like that? How is long it, is he going to be like this? Do we know? Plane rider Rin did that. It could last 10 minutes, it could last 10 hours. Ten. Should we test it out and see like what all he can do? Oh, in like function? give him a command or something? Yes. Just in a fog state here? Just kind of in a fugue state, staring loosely at the wall. Just was basically given a command by Rin to sit and stay, more or less, and hey. then they left. Touch your nose. Oh, okay, he's not going to listen to us. Taldus! Taldus! Do some jumping jacks. It's like Simon says. You gotta, you gotta say Simon says or something. Or Rin says. Yeah, Rin yeah, says. Told us. Rin says. Do some jumping jacks. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. Don't fuck this up. First roll. 
<laughs> she all should have let Lana die. <laughs> <laughs> One roll, and she's right in. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> nah. Mm. If I could, maybe carrying around a member of the Ruby Lana. Vanguard isn't such a good idea. What if he gets noticed by, you know, comrades? Lana could pate? Stay behind and keep an eye on him for us? He could. I'm not sure if he's up for that level of responsibility, but you know, I have full faith in him. Maybe this is his opportunity to like grow and rise in his station. Does he always do what you ask? Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, it's been a little bit. How are you all doing? Hang on for a second, oh, Imogen is talking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, let me. Now I can't remember if I actually did use a sorcery point to get back that third level. Spell. If I recall, you did. I feel like I, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll mark those off. So I could do the same thing again and get another third level back because I just realized we have no way to contact Rin now that I've used all my spells on Ashton because mm-hmm. they're being a punk. Oh, actually. Well, huh. the plan stands, though. We were going to leave the rat. Pate. Yeah. <laughs> very, very big assignment for you. I need to hear if you feel like you can handle this level of responsibility. All right? I can guarantee you. I can well, handle it. You don't it. know yet. You don't well, know well, I haven't told me. you. <laughs> um, do you see this man over here? Yeah. That's Taldus. I told this. Mm hmm. Do you think you could, like, <laughs> Babysit him <laughs> while we're gone. Make sure he doesn't do anything stupid or run away or run out. No, we're gonna leave he him says... like we're strange. It's just if anything funky starts happening, he starts trying to cast magic. He let you know. Right. You have to let me know. You just you basically you just have to be my eyes. Right. Cool. I'll let you know. You can't wander off either. Got it. Cool. You have to stay here. Yeah. Right and you can communicate with me telepathically, right? I think so. No, you can. Okay. I'm. I'm t- yeah. Can. <laughs> can you do this? You're in your head. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so proud of you. You're maturing <laughs> so well. Thanks. Oh you know, goodness. coming up in the world. <laughs> oh goodness! All right. Um, go find some place to hide. Scurry <laughs> <laughs> to the wall. <laughs> Okay. Um, are we leaving him like free willy nilly? Are we tying him up? No, or anything? definitely binding him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hands. And feet. And a gag. <laughs> Whoa. Really? Don't what? they have magic? I mean, yeah, that's true. Oh, that's yep. true. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm going to, as gently as possible, put a bandana in this guy's mouth, tie it around the back. He opens his mouth to help him. Okay. Oh. Sorry. I wonder how long. We should have asked Ren how long this is. You need is to try to kill us. us. I She's tighten it. Confident. Who's got rope? Oh, didn't we use all of it? I used mine. I think I have some rope. I have lots of rope. I have rope. Okay. I have I'm yarn. Too. <laughs> yarn? Do you have a thousand feet of yarn? Um. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn his hand yarn? into like a little ball. Like, one of those little balls? I don't know. Like 30 yards. I have to look. You're like 30 yards. Yay! That's my brain saying. I have rope too, apparently. You do? In my backpack, yeah. All right. So Great, we're going to hog tie him. All right, then go ahead and mark off that rope that's used. How go. much rope is used? All of it? If you're going to do a full hog tie. Comfortably between ankles, wrists, pull back. I put it about, <laughs> I'd say 25 feet of rope. At least. <laughs> you, do it safely. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Who ties up people in bows? <laughs> <laughs> All right, with them secured and gagged, what do you want to do? We should head towards the seminary. Yeah, Ash's heading there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Just, just reminding you all, you know. I'm not having a great day today, so just be on. Just watch your backs. Is, oh. is there anything that we've done that has helped you in that situation? Yeah. What can we do for you? If just we be kind to each other, I think. <laughs> Any kind of conflict sets might set it off. I think. I oh, think boy. physical con- conflicts help. Uh, it definitely sets it off, and, and maybe any emotional conflicts. So maybe just, just ever. 
don't you even fucking joke right now. <laughs> sorry, sorry, see, look, I can't even control. Oh, no, man, I'm a can't control. <laughs> I'm a yeah. cursor now. No, I curse. I'm a swear. You, know what? <laughs> you thought you quick, didn't have a soul. Put, quick, put a. I gotta put a coin in, in the coin jar. <laughs> okay. There it is. In, in the I swear know, jar. Know, um, uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Just everybody. Just try to be optimistic, and maybe that will help. Not set. Just. Just be nice to each other. All right. Overly nice. All right. Overly okay. nice. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Great. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Bye, right. Pate! Bye! <laughs> Should we? Did Pate close the whole door by himself? That was me showing you, closing the door behind you. Oh, okay, right? okay. Oh. That was Pate having unrealistic he, strength. I mean, he's so buff. <laughs> For Jenny, a dead hold on, rat. please scan. Yep. Anybody yep. watching? Staking us out. Wait, lead me to it. Perception checks, both of you. Yep. Oh, he, oh, good. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Natural. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, 26. I forgot to take 10. I'll take 10. Okay, go first. So, how was that? Again? 26. 26. Uh, the bustle continues to flow through the docks here, but nobody around you is taking any sort of odd notice to you beyond just the usual cursory glance of this motley crew going through the street. Yeah. Chetney's just that guy that can't figure out how the joysticks work in the video game. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's Check, through straight ahead, straight ahead, oh, no. straight oh. ahead. Who <laughs> inverted the y-axis, asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Walking into that wall. <laughs> uh, I just restart from the last checkpoint. No worries. So, gathering yourselves, closing the warehouse behind you, trudging back into the bustling city streets of Eos, you head through the Endeavor Ring, back to the Northern Dominion Ring, up the large sets of winding stairs, beyond the statues of the various heroes and founders of the city, through the central courtyards and walkways, till eventually come to the base of the stairs that lead up into the Edinlin Seminary. Um, do you arrive immediately, or you um, take, your, take some time? It'll probably be about five minutes after they're all there, so. Okay, so yeah. you'll kind of sit there, looking around a bit, you can see some students kind of keeping notice, and you uh, eventually, See a familiar figure, or at least a figure, start charging up. Uh, charging is a is a bold word. <laughs> uh, trudging to you, you see slowly, unhappily, is it uh, a young man with uh, dark brown hair, what? Uh, some bad skin, uh, in chef's whites, in a chef's hat. Covered in tomato sauce, some sort of sticky apple uh, uh, pastry filling, just viciously filthy from food refuse, trudging towards you all. Just don't make eye contact. Mm. The fuck happened to all you? Uh, sorry, are we acquainted? Oh, oh shit, hold on. And a glamour drops. I'm just filthy in chef's whites and Have the you? chef's hat covered in food. Why? You always been able to. Who was no, that? That wasn't me. That was oh, that was that was Violet. That was all. That was a whole. Violet? You know? Can we talk about it? I, Have you been here before? No. And oh. Would you like me to help you? Yes, please. <laughs> is it enough to clean this amount of filth? It I'll takes a moment. A couple times. Uh, it, is that food? It's very expensive marinara sauce, fresh apple tarts, um, vinaigrette. Uh, Did you get a job? <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. Wait, oh. I, didn't, wait, I didn't know you could do that. Who, who was, who was that? <sighs> Are we going somewhere? Yes, sure, yeah, yeah, we can walk and talk. Wait, how do we know it's you? I don't fucking know. It's him. The brain it's thoughts him. are the same. The brain thoughts. How are the butt thoughts? <laughs> I, I'm also clearly been in a fight. Like, oh. I am also been kicked around a bit, clearly. Okay. Wow. Yeah, but did you make a porn? What? We should go in. Yeah, let's Somewhere. find some place. <laughs> wow. Just 
take the air out of the hole wow. right there. Okay. <sighs> oh, created a whole industry last I game. Uh, Cannons. <laughs> 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 I thought three hours, two hours, you'd be fine. You don't, oh, okay. You could have said like, be right back. Well, okay. Going somewhere. So. A lot of tension between you guys right now. Oh, just try to keep it light, please. <laughs> You're right. So maybe just support Ashton, him. Was great, and no. you, if you need help with anything, we're here for you. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's been a day. Plus, we're gonna go on a vacation very soon really? to one of three really interesting locales. We're so happy to see you again, Ashton. Oh, it's such a really, I go up, I hug his knee very, Ow. very. <laughs> that's, okay, okay. This is better. No, that's. Thank you. It is good. It is actually, it, I'm, it's nice to see you too. Oh, see, that's There was nice. some nice woodwork, you, I you thought of you. Oh. You get it back. Really? Yeah, it was, there was some very nice woodwork in that office. It was very office? beautiful shelves. It Boy. was. You got an office job? I had to, there, well, I may have, I didn't, well, yeah, I may have robbed an office. There was a robbing of an office. There was, uh, there was a mob. There was a whole, uh, You're using, you're using the, the passive mob. voice. Uh, there was an office, there well, was there, a robbery. <laughs> there there <laughs> may have been. in the kitchen? Uh, briefly, well, technically. What the fuck? Did you look like yourself, or did you look oh, like that other guy? No, that, I mean, they can't though. trace anything to me. Okay. That's uh, like. Thankfully, okay, uh, so are we walking at this point? Yeah, we're, we're here, we're, we're, we're going oh. here. Okay, we're going, I'm, so while we were walking up the stairs, one of the, one of the like fucking smart people are walking, I recognized a face. Uh, it's a person I used to work with, their name is Violet, they're the person that you call when you wanna find someone who's missing or trying to hide or, Taking oh. care of somebody—they're they're bad news. What? That sounds. Those all sound like good things. Like you want to find someone who's missing, you call this person. Find that someone good. who's hiding. Oh. Oh. Okay. They do a lot of things. They're smart. They're uh, polite. They're very good at convincing people to do what they'd like them to do. And we made eye contact, and just long enough that I felt that I should just really quickly run down, try and catch them super, super quick. Didn't have enough time to explain to you what the fuck was going on to make sure we weren't being followed by very bad people with bank rolls. Right. Uh, yeah, we turned around you were gone. Yeah, uh, I went, had a brief interrogation of uh, Violet, and... Uh, they interrogated you, well, or I, you interrogated them? I interrogated them at, at first, but they're really, I mean, they're very, they're so smart. And you start talking, and then suddenly you're answering questions, and you didn't mean to be. And uh, so I accidentally told them like a lot, oh, uh, oh. and then turns out they weren't here for us. So that's good. They're they're on a whole other thing. Uh, but then they knew enough that they could have turned us in for money. So I agreed to do a quick sixty-minute tag along just to sort of clear that up so to make sure that no word you is gonna get back. You freelanced on the side? I, they were gonna It's fine, our, it's, fine. it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's so great, he was just helping out. It's fine, So you seem anxious. I, is there anything we can do to help you out right now? Uh, a drink would be lovely. All right. There may have been, There, yeah, there may have been a lot involved, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the sentries may have been involved. Sentry. Sentry. Yeah, there, there's there were Do you there mean were like cops. Time, or like cops. people who cops. All there right. were cops. There time were mobsters. Cops. There was. Oh, fuck. There were there was some Sentry. fighting. Sentry. I may have kidnapped. Sentry. I may have helped kidnap a mob. Uh, there a, a mobster. There was a lot went down. Those we sentries, were gone. Those but sentries only affect Chetney. That's right. <laughs> And uh, I got them under my boot. <laughs> so, yeah. So you did a job for this person <laughs> so that they wouldn't be able to, to blackmail us or to hold one over on us? And Deal's a deal. Was the, was the job <laughs> successful? Oh yeah, the job was successful. Uh, we were, turns out Violet was in town to uh, uh, try and get some information out of one of the local uh, mobs, uh, the baneful, Brood, I believe. The God, baneful, baneful brood? brood. Yeah. Good alliteration. Uh, they had a lot of it. They were very. They were a lot. 
Anyway, I agreed to come in as a little bit of muscle to help like make sure that if anything went down while they were trying to steal some ledgers to prove apparently some sort of fishy business between them and uh, uh, some some uh, artifact theft. Uh, I went in, while they gave me a glamour, went in through the kitchen so that they would have some backup. Uh, shit got weird, uh, got caught, had to tie up a couple mobsters while we ransacked uh, the uh, the main guy's office, uh, or, or Giro, I think his name. I don't even. Oh, Giro. Uh, or 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 Grio, or Grio, or Grio. We may have tied him up. Mo- that's a mobster who we should be mindful of. Oh no, he's he's. In, I think he's in, at least last I checked. I think he's been arrested. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Turns out he doesn't keep a ledger. He has a Kenku, so we kidnapped the Kenku. <laughs> This is the best story ever. Uh, <laughs> and we tied up the Kenku. We wrapped in like you know, wrapped the Kenku up in a in a very expensive rug that was clearly stolen and antique, and uh, <laughs> worth more money than I've ever made in my life. Did you keep? Did you keep the rug? <laughs> Same, Same page. Yes. Or the Kenku. Did you keep either? Well, yes. Until of course everything went wrong. I, it's a very big house. It was a very big house, and there was a lot of turns and a lot of rooms. I don't know why I had so many rooms. Not a lot of people lived there. And the next thing I know, <laughs> we were unconscious, tied up in the kitchen. Oh. And there was some interrogation on their end, not ours. And I, we were, they got the Kenku back, and they were starting to ask me about who I was and what was happening and, and what was going on. And there was some punching, which I'm fine with, but. Uh, and then the feds raided. The feds? <laughs> What's a fed? The sentries. Everyone got upset when I said sentries. sentries so okay. Sentry, sentry. A bunch of people showed up with authority. Oh no. Busted the place out. I got out just long enough to actually throw enough fists. Uh, Don't fight in kitchens. Oh. <laughs> we fought in a basement. Naked. Equally as bad. They were naked. I-, I wasn't naked. Wait, but you didn't give them any information when they were interrogating. Oh no! Or? Well, they n- thankfully no uh, didn't get that far. Thankfully, and you know now the the, the Kenku and the boss are uh, arrested and and uh, they arrested the Kenku. That's he was okay, a mob. A he was a bird. bad Kenku. <laughs> Living ledger. He was a bad, bad Some Kenku. Some Kenkus aren't nice. All Kenkus aren't nice. No, there's some really nice Kenkus out there. No, and, and well, I mean, like, That's this is the one like. good thing that handed is, like, obviously the glamour never faded, so the, no one, and, and, like, the, the the authorities were very happy with with how everything went down. It worked out great for them. They got to, they got to pull everybody, uh, everybody who's going to get arrested is arrested. They were really grateful. I gave my statement, and they said any time that, like, if I need anything from them, just to like, just let them know, and I've got like now some friends on the on the, uh, like, just in case. Well, like I've got some names that we can talk to. You're an informant. Well, yeah, and they said like, they, you know, they're definitely they'll they'll um, fuck. I had to glamour up when I talked to them. Shit. <laughs> that story was like a Rube Goldberg. They don't know who device. the fuck I am. I don't know if the story's over yet or. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gave a, a, a big favor to a random person that I can never look like again. Oh. Cool, cool. I, that's that's great. That's. You that's... still sound the same though. Yeah, but I'm also a, 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 a criminal, so probably not. Uh, uh, yeah, that might. Did the barback have a name? You, you the version of you. Uh, yeah, Louise. I didn't pick it. Okay. That's all Violet. Violet is very, like, it's hard to argue with Violet. She's really. You you knew Violet. We used to do some stuff back in the day. Uh, She worked with Hexum a few times, also even before. Like, yeah, it was one of those people that it would show up when you had a big gig because they were good talk. They were the best talkers. And uh, there's so many people. I do. I know too many people. A lot of Um, questions. But yeah, so uh, you came out of it with the feds owing somebody else a favor yes. and pockets full of dough, right? Lots of money. I might actually have some dough. Oh snap! Let's Wait. see oh, the coin, actually, baby. No, it's actual no, it's the, oh, oh, because of the baking situation. Oh, sourdough. Actually, hold on, and I pull out the hole and walk in and grab my hammer, which I have not had. 
and pull out some fresh pastries at least that are re oh, reasonably. I, I, I got breakfast. I didn't know what else to do. That's wonderful. That's, oh my goodness. Uh, that's Maybe. such a busy Maybe morning. That, you know, is a lot. I'm so tired, and apparently have at the very least some version of a person that is thankfully not me. I should take these off. Has really pissed off one of the local mobs, so I'm going to. Uh, I would really thank you for that. I really need a shower and a drink. Well, the good news is we're leaving time. town real, real soon. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. we're a little tight on time. I Let's go. Watch. Um, <laughs> it's been centuries. Le <laughs> letters. Oi. Are you calm? Are you feeling good? Are you? I'm trying to just focus. I picked a point across the street. I'm just okay. looking at that. I'm just sort of focusing on it. We had a bad day. Yeah. I'm sorry. What's the name of the um, professor that we're looking for for you? Oh, well. Do you remember? I, I, yes, I do. Of course I do. It is uh, Vitro Isham. Vitro Isham. And you have the directions to get to their. Yes, they're in the brass hall. structure forward to the right of the main campus entrance, I think. Yeah. Is it possible to just walk that direction? Well, we'd have to pass through the info desk again and... Yeah, but most students don't pass through the intro, oh. info desk, right? They just kind of let am go. I, what are we doing there? I'm just gonna... We, we, you, don't we have to go to... Don't we have to go? Well, we do, but... This is important. Ashton's covered in food. I'm gonna no, change. No, not anymore. No, I'm, no. I'm, only my dignity is covered in food. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna change, and I walk into the hole. No, don't story. leave. No, he's gonna be gone again forever. I can hear you. I'm in a hole. Okay. No, actually, you can't hear us when you're in the hole. I can't. No. Is that true? <laughs> I can't hear you. I'm in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> just changing. Mm -hmm. I still feel dirty. Just stop by. Uh huh. Because who knows? It could take a while. You know, if but if this professor will unlock something that'll. Yeah. You know, really change, change everything. Or even just to give us a name, you know, mm -hmm. somebody sure. else to talk to sure. later on. All right, if I can get through, maybe, I don't think they're gonna let us all in. We're a bunch of strange people. Aren't we best friends with the- um, Not anymore. Well, no, we don't know. But we do a question have, mark. we do have dirt, dirt. on her. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, that's what? Right. We, we um, also had a crazy story. Uh, we tell them the whole story. Sure. <laughs> cliff notes, cliff notes, whatever, yeah. Um, I'm here to fix your pool. And so we, we, <laughs> we know someone in, in, in the seminary who kind of owes us a favor. We kind of owe them a favor. Okay, Her name was what again? Carol? Carol. That's right. Whenever we get a chance, I wanted to have you yeah. identify this orb, too, because that's what we stole from uh, the, the, that, that other mage, the guy. My only contact in the in the seminary is about to be discovered as a you grifter who's been identify the orb. That is important. Yeah. So, the bracers oh, really? you identified. I was Violet, so oh, who okay. was hmm? the bracers you took off of him. I the think, bracers we took. That. But we got the Violet the globe, the little glass globe. The, the orb is what he was shooting lightning from. Oh, or, or cone of cold or something. Mm, I yeah, won't be cold. able to look at that until tomorrow. That's fine. Okay. Just I just wanted to put it out there so we didn't forget. Okay. You would have loved the fire plane. We went to the fucking fire plane. We went to yes. There was lava. Briefly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll be back because we're friends with Plane Rider Rin now. Yeah, we met some like... really cool people. Uh, learned, oh my God, learned a lot more. Need her. Um, we gotta go. She's so cool. She's so I had a fresh calzone. It was really fucking good. Oh. <laughs> it was amazing. Nice. That's, nice. that's how they call it. Eos. Yeah. Calzone. Yeah. It was, it was <laughs> authentic. It's got an apostrophe. Eos <laughs> and calzone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love I didn't know what else to fucking call it. Let's it was just try. just gonna try. We're just gonna try to look like students. Yeah. Just some of us wait out here. Just if you look like you know where you're going, most people don't stop you. Who looks, look like who looks like a student? Ch Although, Chetney looks I'm like. I'm taking the beanie off because I just gotta let this wisdom pour through. <laughs> you, it's Professor oh, Pockaby. We got a professor with us. We do. That's Adjunct, true. I think mm -hmm. one of us has tenure. Well, I already have a student, so. I don't know what. You already had you. a relationship with a student. Is this some of that weird porn no. thing you people were telling I me about? Have, I already have a student. Oh. Who is excelling I, tremendously? Who's that? Laudna. Oh, that's true. Right. So she's such a good teacher. Oh, that's right. You did explode stuff. I did. Yes. Well, she's then why don't incredible. just the three of us go in, or unless others want to come? It's whatever. We want you happy, so yeah. you don't freak the fuck out. You probably don't need me in there. I'll keep an eye out and be security detail, make sure nobody follows you. Okay. You'll be safe. Safe. Oh, safe. Safety. Safety. But what happens if we have a, a, a problem? I'm... We kill them. Oh, that's true. 
I was gonna say I have <laughs> mind control ability. <laughs> <laughs> What? People are talking. Oh, oh no, it is fine. We were role playing. I'll stay outside. Let's go. Who's with me? Who's coming in? Mm. You want to come? You don't want to come? I'm you tired wait. Of rooms right now. There's stuff for you in there Ashton too. Ashton and I are outside. outside. Yeah. yeah, but if you don't, if you Important just want stuff. Maybe you should at least get a lay of the land in there. Okay, Pick your team. Is your the witches? Going? I want the witches. Oh, it's, oh, it's like our date night again. Yeah, it's like our date night. All right. All right. All right. We roll. That's the four of you are going in. The rest of you are waiting out in the. uh... You know, it's only after a break from everybody that you realize how fucking weird this whole group is. (laughs) (laughs) That's fair. It's just we're all a lot, man. A lot. Maybe we uh, maybe we split up outside and we'll just keep eyes on different quadrants. Who are who are we looking for? What are we looking for? Oh oh, uh, can we describe the ruby vanguard? The what? The, the Ruby Vanguard? Oh, the Ruby Vanguard. Wait, don't say so loud. The Ruby Vanguard. Okay, yes. Quiet. The Ruby Vanguard. Do you, what do you know, know about, about the Ruby Vanguard? It, yeah, and well, I mean, like, I don't know the the Have you RV. Heard of them? Well, they were. I mean, like, <laughs> some of the some of the centuries were, were. I mean, like, there was some talk. Uh, what was it? Uh, there was like, apparently, according to Violet, and then I heard a little bit more about it. There was some like. Gwendolian motherfuckers coming through town a yeah, few weeks yeah, ago yeah. who were uh-huh. looking for them and trying to like rough some fucking uh Gwendolian. Uh, Gwendolian. Uh, well like yeah, it was like the Hymian. Uh these were some like weird <clears throat> Gwendolian servers. And they were calling them uh, Ruby Vanguardy. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they've yeah, pissed yeah. off every uh every fucking criminal in town apparently. They were talking about it in the kitchen. It was like all the the the, the Vanguard did, or the Dwendalian folks? Um, we kept bringing it up, and they kept, this was apparently the thing that was making everybody fucking on edge. This is also why there was added security to the to the house that we weren't aware of when we God. broke in. We gotta get out of this city. Why don't you guys yeah. go in and okay, okay, uh, figure go. out what you can figure out? Yeah, and like, there are Vasselheim people here, too. Like, that's apparently yeah, a whole thing are. that's making people, everybody's on bloody edge in this town. Yeah, yep. yeah, oh. for sure. We take up different corners and. Okay, just sit tight. Yeah. Okay. The four of you are going to uh, Khadija or Vitro? Vitro first. Okay. So, uh, following the directions that you were given by Carol, uh, you would have to pass through the hall on the inside. The four of you are trying to just walk through with confidence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would like yeah. you to make a group deception check between the four of you. To just put off the air. Guide yourselves. Guide. Guidance. Guidance. Okay. <laughs> They've got the look that's They've all got together. The look. Okay. I want to. Okay. Is it deception? Pretty poor. 17. 17. Nine. Hold on, okay. I'm giving myself guidance. What do I roll of D4? Oh, oh, D4, yeah. What a D4 on it. Ah. Kasha! <laughs> Cool. 16. Okay, 17, 9, 16. 12. 12, okay. Not great, but not dismal. <laughs> Seder, a corpse, and a robot walk into a bar. <laughs> as, you begin to, as you begin to carve That's through and head to the right down the long hallway that you were previously guided towards, you do see Carol is currently at the desk, but is in the middle of a conversation. Mm. As you kind of dart through, her head turns for a minute, but doesn't find you as you kind of continue pushing down that hall. You breathe a sigh of relief as you continue following these instructions through the long walkway. As you do, you can see there is another pair of professors that are having a conversation. And they both kind of eye your troop as you begin to walk by, and you get a few steps past them before one of them turns. This kind of uh, squat, old dwarf fellow with like a balding center of his head and these kind of large, kind of gray-white tufts in the side that go into like a long skullet behind. Um, turns around and goes. Um, excuse me, are you, are you look lost? We're late for Intro to Taldore History 1. That, that's in the Southern Building. They're doing a, a special class on this side today. Make it such a joke. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Guidance. Whoa. Natural 20. Yay! For a total of? Uh, you guidanced yeah, me? Yeah. So that's 21 plus, this is deception? Yes. 26. 26 goes, oh, I wasn't aware. My apologies. Can you continue? <laughs> Strange they hold it in this side of the facility. Yeah. <laughs> Continues to all. 
No, 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 you're fine. It's you're really fine. Good thinking Breathe. Here. I mean, I love no, no, no. <laughs> Kill <laughs> <laughs> <Kill> professor. <laughs> what was the name of the professor again? Sorry. Mine sorry. is Vitro Isham or Ishan. Isham. Isham. They were on the second floor. The other one is right. Yes. I think it was up and over. Up and yes. Yeah. You follow this pathway, and then it leads into a Walden courtyard, where in the middle of it there is a uh, a brass roofed. Two-story structure that kind of goes into like a spiral point at the top, almost like some sort of a uh, like a crustacean shell that eventually comes to it. Has this kind of like spiral texture to it, and it's mostly brass, but you see like it's patina or patina around the edges, and it gives this kind of cool uh, teal coloration in the undersides. Um, you go ahead and continue to dart through. You go up the next staircase that switches back and forth, goes to the second floor. Look around a bit, eventually coming to a door that does read Professor Vitro Isham. And there is, just looking at the door, it is closed, but there this definitely has kind of more of a, an industrial feel to it. Many of the other classrooms you walked by have a you know, nice wooden carved uh, doorway aesthetic and has this kind of you know very classic professorial uh, university sense. This area, a lot of the rooms you go past feel a little more plain, a little more based in uh, dark irons and you know steel uh, elements, and it kind of reminds you a little bit of some of the some of the facets of uh, Joe's place in Vassarus, just simpler and nicer. Um, but you do see the placard there, and the door is closed. Uh, I'll rap on the door with my hand. Hello. Uh, may I come in, Professor? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I, I'm Professor Isham. Here to visit. It opens up, and it's like you now see it's like a heavy steel door. Like the, you get the immediate sense the inside of this room is reinforced slightly. Um, as the door opens, you immediately see uh, a male fear bog. Um, looks like in his like late 30s, early 40s. Very tall and thin, um, has like a soft maroon fur across his face and body, with like a thin mohawk of red hair that flops to one side a little bit. Um, wearing these big multi lens glasses that have like lenses clasping the sides and kind of folding in the front, uh, and these large front teeth that just kind of like protrude above the, the bottom jaw. Sorry, we're not supposed to let people. Li oh. <laughs> Hi, smiley day to you, sir. Smiley day to you. <laughs> what, 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 by what order is this? Uh, uh, your, oh my we goodness. Were, oh. We were told that you, you're an expert in all things uh, automaton. But I am an expert in a lot of things automaton. I don't think all the things, but I'm working on getting better at it. And uh, <laughs> well, I just was not expecting this sort of an arrival. Uh, hello, you are all uh, with what? With him. They're, they're not automatons. They're. I, I kind of got a bit of a feel for it. Are as you all students of the, uh, <laughs> the seminary? Students? Huh? Students? Uh, are you students of the seminary? Oh, we are students. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, <laughs> we are, st we are she's studying. A, she's a traveling, traveling professor. A traveling professor. Yeah, I'm not a professor here, but I just wear I can. Really, <laughs> what we're here for is support of our friend here, yes, FCG, who has traveled quite a great distance to meet with you. Oh. Group deception check. Ah, oh, so yet again. Yes. Being very unhelpful. Get better. Ooh. Horrible. Eleven. Eleven. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Fuck. Ten. Fuck okay. ten. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. okay. Also not abysmal. Um, not great. Not bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, Professor Abroad, very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, well, at the, at the very least, step inside. I'd like to have a conversation with uh, this oh, one. Absolutely. FCG, you said? Fresh cut know? grass is what I'm Fresh called. Fresh cut grass, wow, that is nice. <laughs> Please, come on inside, come on inside, all of you, do come you, on inside. Do you want to do you, do you go to your, your professor? Or do you I want... mean, I could, tr I could try. You don't have to be here. I mean, I appreciate the support, but maybe you should take the opportunity. Sure, yeah, go on. Uh, I will, well, I'll like, yeah, I'll, I'll meet you in the front. Do you want to buy the phone or I to go with you? We can two and two it yeah, or something? Yeah, she make it awkward. 
Do you want one of us to go with you? I, 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 either of you would be. You could of... all go because no, I think I'm in good hands. No, 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 no. One of us has to stay. We each we go as a team. Fellow, <laughs> why don't you go <laughs> with Imogen? Okay. That way um, we can message each other. Oh, that's a great that's idea. Smart. We can okay. each do that. Sorry about I can't that, Professor. Send any. You, you can't send but we'll, any. Should we? But I, I, I will, mm -hmm. and then in your head you hear, but I'll make a connection right now, so at least for four minutes we'll be good. I or think I can message. Teeny little moon. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's perfect. Well, she can message, you can message me, I can message you back, so we can just check in every once in a while. We can also just right, walk right, down right, the hall and find right, too, sort so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Just Worst case, know. we'll just be in the front. Just let us know when you get there, what room number, where you are, all those things, and give Cindy Dillon. Yeah. Right. Oh, and I can also get, that's right, I can use point, I can get a spell. I can message you if it gets real hairy. Okay. <laughs> all right. In your head you hear all those things, because I wouldn't say that in front of the... I assume it's like... You take care of our friend now. We'll be... He'd be safe if I don't trust this academics. Things would get real interesting if you slap him. It'll show you a lot about him. Please don't. Bye. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I, well, I, I not to. I will follow what he's telling me. Um, come on into my, my facility, please. Sure, sure. Please step on in. This Open the door, and you can amazing. see like. Um, <laughs> well, I think. Thank you. I'm. I'm <laughs> you are very much pumping up my self-esteem, being what what you are. Um, uh, please, and as he walks in, you can see like he has like a set of workshop clothes on, a leather apron. As he kind of opens the door further to see his full frame, and he's like he's a scrawny looking dude, um, but he kind of ushers you in and closes the door <laughs> behind you. On the inside, you can see there are sets of seats. This is definitely a, uh, a classroom um, where many students would sit in kind of bleacher arranged rows on one side of the chamber. The other side of it has a number of workshop tables laid out, and there are. Chains with hooks hanging from the ceiling. You can see there's all manner of pulleys and ropes. There are tools aligned on the wall of all sorts of odd makes. Some you recognize, some you definitely do not. Many of them you can kind of have from your experience in Imahara Joe's place, definitely kind of see similarities in how his workshop was arranged and kind of elements of what's available here. You can see there are materials, there are chunks of stone that are like partially carved with runes that kind of lay uh, unassembled. You can see there are metallic joints and, and from many of the automatons that you've encountered in your life, you can see similarities in kind of like the shell structure of a torso, of an arm, um, and a number of arcane power cores uh, that are kind of just hanging and set in like shelf units on the off, put off to the side. This is definitely kind of like uh, an observational classroom slash workshop. And just in him giving us a tour around, I'm gonna, can I just just get a, like a sense, an insight of, of if he's a good fellow or not? Make an insight check. Okay. Eight. <laughs> fellow and good student. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he seems excited to see you. Right. Very well. Well, um, you you have my attention. You pulled me away from my lunch break, but um. um what? Oh, it's okay. I can get to it later. Don't worry. Too <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. But um, what? I, if you're looking for me and knowing what you are, I don't want to waste your time. This is but, not a waste of my time. This is a rare opportunity. It's an opportunity for me too, and I'll tell him sort of a brief, abridged history of um, my my memory of uh, of the last. You know uh, how I was created, dancer, Imahara Joe. Oh, yes, Joe. No, I... oh, you know Joe? Yes, it's been some time since we've interfaced, but we send letters and give recommendations. He's one of the greatest minds of uh, you know, automaton and uh, arcane locomotion uh, in, in Marquette, though he would say maybe he's, you know, he could be better used in more, uh, how do I put it? Um, official capacities, but I understand he wants to maintain good business. I, I don't disrespect that at all, so just glad to have the connection. Um, but I am the professor here of independent arcane locomotion. I am also professor of abjuration and enchantment implantation and uh, automaton engineering. So, uh, um, uh, Professor Vitroy Sham at your service. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Um, I've been trying to find answers about what I w was created for. <sighs> Honestly, I, I feel like in order to move forward with this life that I have, I kind of need to know what I've done. Because if I've done 
bad things. I kind of want to know that. Well, let, let me take a look at you. If, okay. if, if you are okay with Absolutely, me. Absolutely, please. If you're uncomfortable poking around, but I will make sure you are comfortable. Whatting around? Poking around. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Sorry, it's That's just the, the 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 lip the lips. <laughs> um, Sorry, I, I, something in the teeth. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yes, please poke, Laudna. If this makes you uncomfortable, I know that no. gross things freak you out a little bit. So just turn away. Well, if you you need to. to pay attention. This is oh, kind of a free workshop. They've, they've on. left. Yeah, they've they've left. left. Oh, never mind. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. Okay. Well, you can stay. Um, <laughs> Goes ahead and you know, brings you over to the center of the chamber, brings down uh, two of the chained hooks and kind of affixes them to the inside of your shoulder joints there. That's all right, I feel okay? I don't feel a thing. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Gets to the back and just like, <laughs> it's oh. like cranking it, it kind of like starts lifting you up. <laughs> and kind of like <laughs> lifts you about three or so feet off the ground, so you're just kind of hanging there freely. Um, comes back to you, sets, changes the lenses in his glasses. Um, do you mind if I open the car the, the, the chassis? I'm sorry, the what? The carapace, the chassis. <laughs> yes, you may open the chassis. Thank you very much. Goes ahead and pulls out like a small grapple tool. Uh, professor. Oh, yes? What is your so, name, by the way? Oh, um, so, so, sorry, I'm Lodna. Student Lodna, pleasure. Student Lodna, that's me. He's a bit stressed out Oh, yes. Today. Oh. Um, so, and bad things happen when he you know, reaches his limits, so just be gentle. I, I may have been created as an assassin thousands of years ago, and I've been known to do violent things, mm. so just protect you, maybe wear eye protection, just protect yourself. <laughs> his eyes go oh, red. Oh, you know what, Laudna, take my, and I'll, I'll disconnect my uh, saw blade yes. and all my other weapon arms. and <laughs> As you're like pulling out all these different, it's like, <laughs> Very interesting a, a series of accompaniments. All right, all right. Um, well, let's take a look. Lifts like ting, ting, pulls open the front of your chest cavity once more, and very similar to how uh, Imahara Joe is kind of looking through you, kind of begins looking through some of the interiors. Goes, I don't know. This, this very much confirms some of my suspicions. You are, you are, you are a Ormatan. Specifically, I think I see here you are a Harmonious. Aormatan. Harmonious? Harmonious Aormatan. It was, it was a very, very particular design of the old uh, uh, Arcanum city. Uh, they were designed, they were, you were, I'm sorry, I need to be inclusive, this is what you are. You were, you were designed as peacekeepers and diplomatic associates. You, uh, peacekeepers? Yes, often used as guides and communicators throughout the ancient city. But I was under the impression that I was built Constructed to, to be some sort of a a Trojan horse, a, 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 a false. Well, if you were part of a specific part in the history, then that is possible. Uh, can I turn things for a second? Like, now, I've heard rumors of air uh emerging in recent years, but none have come through years before. This is this is a rare treat. Um, the event I'm speaking of is called the Care and the Culling. Uh, now, I've, I've, I've read of this event in uh, which a number of Eormatans were altered uh, to turn on their companions as a gift. It was largely made as political gifts from Aeor to their rivals. Um, and then all in one day, they just turned around and <laughs> murdered or attempted to murder the person they were given to. Um, so it caused a large shift in Aeorian dominance during the age. Um, if that is what you are, it will be extra special and careful. Um, continues to still look through, and you know, it feels a little strange, especially since he starts getting into kind of the, the deep undercore that Imahara Joe kind of stopped at. He goes, oh, oh wow. Oh. Uh, pulls his head out. This might be a little uncomfortable. Hey, let me know if I need to stop at any time. No, please, I, I, I need to know. All right. Um, Even if I scream, just keep going. No, I will stop. I will no, stop. Please keep going. No, I, I distinctly cannot allow myself to do that. I'm a man of uh, well, arcane medicine, I guess you could say. All right, let's get in here. And he starts. Um, How are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can see something them. Something new. <laughs> So it's is there, a, is there, is like once you hit the center of the earth, if you keep going, it's just more, yeah, 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 just yeah, yeah, more yeah. soil. There's no bottom. 
<laughs> reaches in and you start feeling this like this like spark, almost like a, like a a weird tension. It's like, do you, do you feel that? Yep. Yeah, I do. Yep. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, no. your your uh, you are fitted with quite the unique arcane power accumulator. I will be very honest with you. Arcane power accumulator. Yes, okay. it is far larger than what is needed for a, a, an ormaton of your size, which might very well confirm the fact that you were uh, uh, either altered or created for this uh, the care and the calling event. Uh, are you able to access any arcana yourself? Yes, I, I am, and I don't know how I'm able to. I, I have um, many powers, some healing, but also many that are destructive. Destructive makes sense. Healing, that is a bit confusing. It's not all, they do not recall any, any of the Hemornius uh, Armatons in that specifically event that had healing prowess, but it's possible. I mean, all the, the history books are not entirely, you know, fully fleshed out. Um, could it could it be that I was programmed w with those capabilities to to trick or fool someone to let me closer to their? It's possible. <laughs> and you feel this like this like tension release. Ha, Moon oh, River. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And you watch as he pulls out from inside your chest, still attached through a series of these like cables with arcane tethers. Yes, stirring the wheel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that are kind of giving these little like pulses of light that are like leading Whoa. up inside. This large sphere of like deep blue, almost like a light purple color, this like glow of arcane energy that's kind of like. <laughs> It looks. But it's deep blue. It's like a deep blue purple coloration. It looks very much like some of the arcane cores that you've seen used in other uh, automatons and throughout Imaharjo's shop. But it's it's different. It looks stranger. There's like an intricacy to the the mooring and like the metal elements that kind of hold it in place. Um, and you watch as he holds it very carefully and goes. I think that this might be part of the the source for your <laughs> your abilities, your powers. But I would caution this. Uh, it could be unstable due to age or damage, and most arcane accumulators, when ruptured, can uh, detonate in an extremely destructive degree. Um, perhaps it was installed as a failsafe? I don't know. Uh, but uh, just failsafe? You mean it's not necessary to my function? Well, the, the, this is necessary to your function, but it also, if, if it was to be. Overcharged with too much arcane power. Oh, oh I see. Uh, a you, would, you would to take destruct. out. You would take out most of this building. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back. Bomb. We're gonna put this back. We're gonna very carefully put this back. Because then put the back on your body, oh, like boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. You okay. Dead man switch. All right. So good oh, news. No. Good news. It does not appear to be ruptured at all. So this is very good. There's, there's no leaking of power or energy. Does not mean you need to worry about being jostled too much and then kablooey. Um, it's, uh, sorry, my apologies, no need to worry. It's it's very safe, just you know, don't go fiddling with it. Don't be connecting our, uh, outside arcane terminals or anything, it will cause a uh, bad scene. Like b boom bad? Probably, but this should be safe, just an observation. Huh. A and there's, so you know, where I'm from and when I'm from, and possibly my original design, but I've been modified to do something else. That is what I'm thinking. It's what mostly happened at the time. I can only remember a couple years back, though. Is it? Do you know how my memories are stored, or if there's a way to access them? Or <sighs> see, the problem is not problem, but the challenge is the um, the. The enchantment uh, technology, the incantations that were utilized in the creation of the Elmatons were specific to Eor and they were lost from the city. No one can make, as far as I understand, new beings like you. You were very special. You were, you were from a time in which this secret was known and uh, utilized, but that time is past. You are, a, you are both a relic of history and a very unique spirit special person. You're a person. That's what they keep saying. <laughs> well, I think they might have a, a point there. I mean, 
<laughs> but yes, uh, as, as a person who has studied some of this history, the, a lot of the Umertans worked very hard and, and during that period of time to establish themselves as equals amongst their creators. There was a um, long period of Aurian history in which they were just considered servants. And there was, the, as much as Aeor gets a lot of negative information written about it, and rightfully so, like, there was also a beauty in some of what they made. You're so very included, so you should not be um, unfair to, to where you came from. There are many, and I mean this because I've had my own challenges in the past, there are many people in Alexandria that maybe weren't that good in their early years, but they, um, you are not defined by what you were told your purpose was. You carve your own path. Okay. Besides, if you don't really have memories of anything before that, then that's really not who you are. I suppose so. That's scary, though. Yeah, being alive is very scary. Yeah. Being conscious, free will, frightening, but also worth everything. I wish, I mean, it would be way easier if you were just to tell me that I was made to kill and that's my purpose, or made to heal and that's my purpose, but if I gotta find my own purpose, that's, that's harder. You're not wrong, and I wish I could offer you the sort of solace, but um, you're more beautiful than a simple binary answer. This is a good guy. He's a very good guy, and he's he's right. Listen to him. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, you know, I want to make sure that you get something for your time, and. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can leave with you or, or, or a favor to no, do or... Believe me, just even the opportunity to uh, fiddle around inside a living Eormaton at this time is, is a huge honor. I will be making a series of very important notes for future classes based on this interaction, so I'm very, very thankful. And you haven't seen anyone else like me? Like you, no. Okay. If you ever do, I don't know. I could send you a letter. Where can I get in touch with you? Uh... Boy, how would he? Oh, God, so house? I guess so, where I am. Uh, maybe the Skyport? I don't know, maybe well, Why not ever go back there? I guess he would send a letter to to Lord e Esteros. Lord Esteros, okay. I mean, he's dead, but he's still gonna. His house could be taken by somebody else. I don't know who the house well, called. Well, where else are we gonna go? I guess I could do. Uh, you know what? I'll do uh, Ashton's place. Uh, Mail doesn't get delivered to where we live. Shadana. Madam Shadana, she can she can die any second. But sure, we'll do Shadana. Or the Shadana. The what? Oh yeah, but they he said. Fire by spire by fire. The spire by fire. The Lord Esteros at the Spire of Bay Fire. Sure. <laughs> higher, <laughs> lower, higher, lower, lower. <laughs> uh, $550. Is a squat. Like, just to be clear, where I live yeah, is a yeah. squat. It is it is a squatter's den. There is no mail. We don't have a home. It'll get stolen. We have an, we have an airship. We, it, it doesn't get mail there? No, it doesn't. How are we going to register to vote? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are exciting problems, Absolutely. FCG. Yeah. You can also just like send him know. a message every once in a That's while true. just to check in. That's true. I could send you a message to check every once in a while, so maybe I'll do that. Put yeah, please. You know where to find me. Just write letters, send them this way. Don't get them to me. Professor, I, yeah. I, I feel like Ashton is... Oh, Ashton <laughs> is not here. I feel like FCG is is very humble, but he's he's more than just an arcane healer. He's he's almost also like an emotional healer. Well, they're a very I good. Try. They're a very good person. I just I don't, I don't want to speak for don't you, feel, but feel free. I think you're right in your assessment that they're they're quite wonderful. Very good. That is very nice to hear. 
I mean, people out there just look at uh, automatons and see them as tools, see them as a means to an end. I don't know. There is artistry in the creation, and to be honest, I've always been fascinated with that next level of uh, autonomy. There are some that toy with it, and they've gotten close to the secret, but not quite the same level of uh, perfection that uh, you represent. So. Gosh. Um, I'm blushing over here. <laughs> <laughs> this is being honest. This is a huge day for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. I would be remiss if I didn't ask you one more question. I want to. I want to get over to what Imogen is doing soon. <laughs> but um, if it doesn't take long, and if you have the tools and capabilities, yes, could I just make one quick request? By by all means. It seems like I have this energy source within me. Right. It right. makes it makes some heat. There's heat in there. Yes, yes, I was it, wondering, it builds up to the, the energy backup and it can create. I was wondering if you could just make some sort of like a, an opening and an access point, not not to get to the energy source, but a, sa a safe sort of compartment, small, but it could harness and access that heat and possibly over time bake things. Oh. An easy bake out thing. <laughs> I had not considered this. This is, hmm. Yes, that would not be a difficult thing to do whatsoever. Just like a 40 baht light bulb, just mm -hmm. cooking something for like eight hours that's <laughs> this big. Let's give it a shot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> pulls you back up and pulls out the tools. And <laughs> <laughs> I think you were going to ask for like some sort of Teledildonic yeah, device? Yeah, that's exactly yeah, that would, what I thought it would be. Oh my god. Yeah. That is, that is a phrase, that is a term I've never heard. Teledildonic device? I have not, but now like. A teledildonic no, device it. for I, those who. I, I figured it out. I need to know what it is. I'd... It's for, it's a dildo that you control over the internet. Oh, that's great. <laughs> like like with Bluetooth? Yeah, Bluetooth. I, I guess you could do Bluetooth. Okay. I haven't. I've only That's done awesome. the old-fashioned kind. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi. Three <laughs> G. Yeah. Edge. Oh, they sell packages with the game res on eBay. Um, anyway, uh, it sure enough seems eager for the alteration and has the tools to do so, and it won't take too long. Oh, oh my no. god, wow. stop it! Wow. Stop it! <laughs> Letters are starting to rage! <laughs> 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 god, okay. So you are getting your uh, your alteration of your, your easy bake sure, oven sure. underway. Mm -hmm. Imogen and Fern, what are you doing? We are going to find a uh, Khadija Sumal's office. Okay. You didn't get specifics as to where she was, so you can begin to look throughout the halls and find your way. So I'd like you both to make a perception oh, or no investigation way. your check. Okay. <laughs> investigation mm -hmm. check. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Mm hmm. Uh, what did you say? Investigation or perception? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Uh, 17 for me. Okay. Um, Is that investigation or perception? Yourself. That's investigation. Okay. Getting myself. Investigation has a lower DC, so. Uh, it's 22, sorry. That's okay, no. <laughs> we got there, we got there. Wow, that was a cliffhanger. I had a that was brain fart, that was weird. <laughs> yeah. So I was looking at an investigation, but I was trying, my, my, my perception's higher, so I was like, I, 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 oh, well, I, why don't you right, do right. I did, I did, I did. You did perception? Yeah, I did, I did. That's how size I got, 22. Yeah. Okay, so okay. yours was a perception, and mine was an investigation. Got gotcha. you, great. So it doesn't take too long. The better part about 20 minutes of carefully skulking through halls, passing by doorways, looking for any sort of emblems or placards that state different offices or classrooms. Um, and many of them are just classrooms. They're just labeled specific like names, a title, the uh, Athenium, the, uh, the Shell Rock. The, they're all like kind of like themed, but not specifically to anything that connotates what the classes are about that you can make out. Um, I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> 
you do, uh, after passing the main halls and kind of the cluster of various like lecture uh, halls themselves, you go towards the back of the main building, kind of far behind where the uh, clerk desks were and kind of uh, away from the building that you had left the two of them at. Um, and you do manage to find uh, some offices and one that is marked with Suma. The door is closed. Look around. Nobody responds. Oh, shit. I really thought that he was going to say something. Me too, he had that look on his face. Pro- professor? Mm. I'm working on something oh, right now. Yes. Yes. Not, uh, there, there is uh, there, no, no classes today. Um, this is not in regards to your class? Something you'll really want to hear. <laughs> Please go away, I'm working. I understand that this is in regards to a, an essay you wrote quite a while ago. Um, I've traveled quite a distance to, to talk to you. Set an appointment up at the front desk. Next time I have an opening, you can come in and we can talk, but I'm currently busy with work. Hey, this has to do with like some ruinous born shit, so I think you should open the door. <laughs> <laughs> There's a long 30 second pregnant pause before you hear. Like seven locks unlock on the door before peeking through, you see just kind of the, the left hand side of a, an older female orc. Um, it looks to be a, a cluster of a dozen or so thick braids that are just kind of gathered and tied with a ribbon around the back of her head and the kind of on the back, uh, to the middle of her back. Dark brown eyes and like gray green skin. Um, and what looks to be uh, bags under her eyes and just kind of like wearing a, a standard pre- professorial robe over kind of non formal clothes. <laughs> looks at the door. Get inside. Opens the door. Closes it. You walk inside. Now you can see this, this Do you dark. Want me to lock these back up. Uh, if Memory. if you could uh, lock them up, please. Um, she moves around to the back of her desk where she was sitting beforehand, and there, there is a, a window that leads out, but the curtains are drawn on it, uh, and there's just like two oil lanterns sitting on the edge of the desk that have these kind of flames loosely flickering. Uh, shelves filled with books and papers and writing implements and little. Bobbles and knickknacks that look like they have either some personal significance or some significance to past research that you can't quite pinpoint uh, the connection. But uh, she kind of sits down at the table. All right, you have my attention. What the, what, what what are you talking about? In her head, she hears. Have the judicators come looking for you yet? She immediately, like, hearing your voice in the head, kind of has this, this moment of, of shock and recognition, and then steals her face. Retun- returns in her own head towards you, uh, in response to you, not through her pushing it into your mind, but just receiving it. No, no, they, they have not come through here. Uh, thankfully, uh, I have done my best to just be a professor. We were... Um with Professor Kai, recently. Recently? Mm. Yes. Good, good, it's been a couple of weeks since we've connected. Where, 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 where did you see him? Uh, I'm not gonna say, just in case anything happens. Okay, okay, okay. But he's this safe. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I, I can obviously tell that you are uh, one of the uh, rudest born. Um, Liliana Temple was my mother. Is my mother. And the, she get, like at this point she's kind of been like her eyes darting around the room a little bit. Now she gets like a really good look at you and goes, Yes, 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 uh, she is. Okay. What, um What could you tell me about her? Oh uh, she um 
she was very helpful in, uh, in the creating of a, of a particular um, project of mine and a few colleagues. Uh, we were um, we were spearheading a research study, and uh, she was one of our first major breakthroughs. She came to us, actually, or was recommended to us through people who knew of our research, and kind of really opened the door for a lot of the things that we were theorizing and trying to figure out. Um, and you get this kind of like slightly manic, like paranoid, but but studious energy to her. You don't get put off by her, but you get the feeling both from her, her physicality and her current just appearance that she's been living under a growing worry for some time. Um, and she kind of looks at you both, trying to ascertain how much she can trust. I'll have you both make a persuasion check to just kind of represent your essence of presentation within the chamber. That's super cocky. Super What is it? Nine. Nine? Eighteen. Eighteen. She looks so, how trustworthy does she look? She's so trustworthy. You can trust us. <laughs> we can totally trust us. There, there was an, an archive that we were assembling. Um, looks at Fern for a second, looks at the door, looks at the window. We called it the Omen Archive. Um, along with Ebenold and uh, some compatriots that are no longer part of this project, uh, we began to compile this. It was a a full, studious breakdown of every major historical figure that we knew of who was Rudis born, as well as a collection of information about numerous modern Rudis born. This archive expanded as we began to notice the exponential increasing number of Rudis born in recent generations. And as that began to grow, it began to move into studies of recurring similar themes in possibly shared dreams and the astronomical mystery of the Ruidian flare. Um, she's kind of looking to see if there's any signs of recognition in you. I mean, we heard as much from, um, I remember his name. Uh, shit. What was the guy's name in the city with the telescope? Oh. Oh, in the Humber Hamlet? Yeah. Uh, that was. Reimer? No, 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 no. no, no, no. The, older, the older retired professor. Yeah. Who sent us to Evan yeah. Dry. That was, um, no, Astani. Astani, thank you. That's right. Yeah, Roastani. Uh, we visited Roastani and. Uh, oh, I haven't seen him in some time. Is he okay? Uh, when we left him, yes. Okay. I heard there was some violence by where he was staying. There was. Okay. Um. So the um, the exultant, as we called them, were the Ruis, rudest born with the most fascinating anomalies. Uh, your mother was the first we had encountered. Wow. And she came to us asking questions, looking for answers, and we were looking for uh, more answers to more questions. It, it, it was, it was uh, kind of cracking open a much bigger thing than we all were anticipating to follow. For a long time, Ruidus was just assumed to be a superstition. And Rude is born as a phrase used as a sort of a means of othering people. Um, and maybe there is something to that now that we know that there is a connection, uh, or at least with some. Uh, there isn't a big history of, of exultants, maybe a handful through history, but, but the number of recent ones has grown. We, we counted at least 12 in the years that we were studying, and we assume there were more, but we began to have to to hide our studies in openness. There was a lot of questions from people we didn't know, a lot of outside uh, individuals who were prodding about our research, and I don't trust that. Do you know if, um, do you know if Odahanthol is an exultant as well? Odahan was one of our last, our last 
exotic research subjects. They were... They came in on their own accord to, to inquire. Um, they seemed to already kind of... It's hard to explain, like they, they already knew what we were doing. Yeah. And they just kept asking a lot of questions. And we did a few of our tests. We began to to look for the limitations of their abilities. And, and at a certain point, they just began to get more uncomfortable and we stopped. And they seemed unhappy with the limitations of what we were allowing to impart upon her, and uh, well, that was when we, the Verity, and she kind of looks again for a point of recognition. I know what that is. The Grim Verity, we kind of began to hide our movements. She. She couldn't make a scene here in the middle of the uh, the seminary, but some of our members who were off-site and not under such protections began to disappear. And so we, we scattered. I was questioned a couple of times, but said that I absolved myself of any of this and have been working hard to just maintain an air of a on-retirement's on path professor here. Um, anyway, sorry, that, 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 that got off topic there. Um, so the exultant, um, like your mother. Yes. Uh, they, they were the first to exhibit these special abilities. They were also the first to speak of the, uh, the, the Rai Laura. What's that? New word, new word. New word. So some of the, some of the exultants, um, as well as, near exultant through this born, at least those very strong dreams who were older and maybe had been finding ways to connect more often. Uh, these dreams, they involved walking on dust storms and what felt like it was on Ruudis' surface. Uh, they were meeting other Ruudis born within this landscape, within shared dreams. Yes. And some of them began meeting a collection of entities. Yes. It's like crimson beings that referred to themselves as the Rai Laura. They were first believed to be like dream state beings outside of our standard cosmology. They spoke without words, presenting riddles and asking for alliance or subversion. It was a, a, an extreme curiosity, but also kind of a, an ominous portent the further we pushed into our research and we, we kind of began to pull back a little bit. So, uh, well, um, and she like looks at the door again, looks at the window. It's been long theorized that the flares are, were a way for these Rylora to tether or connect themselves with Exandrians. At this point of birth, they would essentially mark them or find a way to reach out to, to someone upon them entering these planes and then holding that tether. And then the dreams would start coming. So your mother was one of the very connected who could speak with and uh, try and interpret and communicate these communications with the Rai Laura. Do you know how, uh, how long she'd been having the dreams before um, the Rai Laura appeared to her? Um, well, she came to us about, I want to say, 10 years ago, but she had been long wandering before that, yeah. trying to find answers. When she came to us, she had been all over Marquette. She had been beyond that, and eventually came to us when they, she was sent to our research, which she had, we had been only been doing a short time. Um, regardless, we, we, this Rai Laura, their intelligence was hard to understand, and we have no concept of their morality, and that's where we began to pull back from pushing towards these communications. Our studies, became more about finding proof beyond these dreams in hope of saving lives, seeing if there is some good to come from this or ending it. Um, so that was what, some of what we were doing. Uh, this, she kind of like loses train of thought. 
I'm sorry. What, 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 what do you need? What, what questions do you have? I'm talking too much. Um. <coughs> My mother, I think, had, had the ability to push herself into other people's dreams. Yeah, she was beginning to develop that when we told her to pull back because of the Rylora communications. Well, did you help her with that ability? How did she? We guided her through it. We had many specific uh, uh, induced dream sessions within the uh, seminary to try and, and, and push to whatever limits there might have been. And it was incredible, uh, the progress, but it became too worrying. It's only so far you can push into the unknown before the unknown begins pushing back. Right. Did, did you ever reach any sort of limitation with any of your test subjects? I'm, uh, well, ma many of them grew scared and just did not want to be part of the studies anymore. And we helped them kind of keep it at bay, found ways to soothe before sleep to try and avoid the dreams, whether it be based on music and uh, specific kinds of tea, uh, focusing on good memories before they went to bed, um, whatever we could try to, to offset these dreams. I, I am uncertain how effective they were, as many of our subjects uh, didn't return. Um, we've checked into them, and they're still living their lives, for the best we've known in recent years, at least, but... Well, they're probably without a haunt at this point. Mm -hmm. Are these Rylora friendly? Did, did, did you get to... Some seem to be. Uh, they were of varying materials. Uh, some were solid flesh in dreams, others were made up of some sort of energy. Yes, they were intelligent, alien, always in kind of a crimson hue that was similar to the landscape that these dreams took place in. Some enticed with promise, others intimidated or demanded the dreamer. Others still brought uh, empathy and comfort. It was a spectrum, which made it confusing. And at times, based on the interactions, we would continue to try and engage, but not always the same entities would respond. Sometimes the kind ones would not come back, and the aggressive ones would continue to take over. Mm. It's an odd spectrum, and they speak wordlessly with imagery and emotions. A lot of, um, yeah. Anyway, we, we, the Verity, have been a bit scattered in recent months. We've, there are other things at work, and we're doing our best within our network to, to do what we can, but we're up against some very dangerous interests, so. If you are caught up in all of this, it's best that you leave. I don't think that's an option, but thank you. Um, I, I do get the dreams as well, and um, I would love if you had any kind of ability, any, any tips you could give me to help me push back. If you, you've discovered anything at all. Let me, um, and she goes into one of the shelves and starts like going through books, books, books. Pulls one down, mm -hmm. opens the book. The book is hollow. Oh. Takes a key out of the book, oh, puts cool. it back on the shelf. <laughs> keys, keys, keys. Goes to where her desk is and Pushes the desk forward about a foot. Pulls out another book. There is a <laughs> there is a small latch and a like a, like a six inch by six inch door, a trap door underneath where the desk was. She unlocks it, opens it up, looks at the door, like looks at the window, looks at you. It's a delta. <laughs> Suddenly, the stress becomes too much at CG. Um, 
pulls up a thick, like a, a thick leather wrapped something. Sets it on the desk, <sighs> opens it up, and there is a stack of pages, like vellum, that are like torn. The text. <gasps> no. Or the texts. No. Come on. Nothing. She was. So the archive was taken not long ago. Um, it was. We knew it was in danger of, of being uh, stolen by some of these individuals that have maligned interests in our research, so I removed a number of pages from all the text that I'd left behind. Um, I think I may have some notes based on this work here. She begins reading through and like checking through the pages. Every three pages, she looks up at the door, looks at the window, looks back down, starts reading through. All right, here's some notes from from the the last uh, sleep session we did with Liliana. Wow, dream journal. <laughs> we uh, she preferred violin music, so we had a, we had a violinist within our staff that we brought in for these sessions. Uh, there was a, a particular kind of. Uh, like a lavender vanilla scent that she enjoyed that helped get her into a mindful state. And we big. All the locks in the door. Shh. Shit. Wait, what? Wait, what? The what? door closed on its own? Or no, open? The door was closed. All the locks. They open. Open on its own? And she goes. I'm going to stand. And moves the pages. Get to the door. The door. Just cover the door. Open. You're standing oh, against. Shit. Wait, you're standing against I'm the door. I'm just standing in the in the in just in the doorway to try to just distract and be big and flexible. Okay. We're trying a new cookie recipe. So you stand recipe. in the doorway and you flex and you turn, and standing there in the doorway, you see um, an older-looking, elven man. No. With long white silver hair. No. Long blue, gold silver robes. Hello. Jewelry. Oh, hello. Hi. What are you? I'm sorry, we're just in the middle of something. That's all right. I'm here to speak with the professor, if you don't mind. Can you just wait like five minutes? <laughs> no. And that's where we're gonna take a break. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. Maybe it's just a pizza delivery guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it's Did someone order a pizza? pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we're at 28 minutes, and if I wait any more, it will be free. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. So we'll be right here in a few minutes after our break. See you shortly. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? My name's Sabrina Eingar, and I'm playing Sestia. She is a half-elf circle of stars druid. Very, ooh, I was gonna say like space case, and then I got grossed out by it, but she is. So, oops. I love these like mixed casters, like that ability to kind of do both in battle. I tend to play a lot of spell, like just pure spell casters. And uh, after running a couple games uh, earlier in the summer, I realized uh, I, I struggled mightily to put any damage on a druid. So uh, I decided today, here and now was my turn to be strong. And I have built a character that is so good at casting a spell and running off the map. I think I'm druiding wrong, but feels feels good, feels right. And I really like the like omens and portents idea of yeah, you look to the stars, you get this like divine sense of being able to do a little bit of like mechanical control in this like kind of creepy way, and then adding the luck uh, lucky feet on top of it. Just it's fun playing with the like how do you narratively wrap in this idea of doing like mechanical pluses and minuses and affecting uh, the mechanics of the game and like integrating that into the story that we're telling. So I got very excited about that and it's been so satisfying the entire time.
of us. Dragons attacking together. It's, it's like the end of the world. And what exactly is the plan against four dragons? Fuck! Shit! Ah! Uh-oh. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I am very flammable! <laughs> How about we get a drink? I hope you fall into lava, asshat! Oh, that's a new record. Usually takes us 10 minutes to get kicked out of a palace. Vox Machina. These weapons were created to strike down the gods. Find them to defeat the dragons. People. We're trying to save the world! Uh, Look out! You are super fucked up. That's new. We need to get inside that dragon. Through a mouthful of acid, no way. The other way. Oh, God. The Legend of Vox Machina premieres January 20th, only on Prime Video. My balls are ice cubes. What are you Don't you worry, Uncle Grumpy is going to keep I, you warm. This is actually kind of cozy. <laughs> about, about, about to go. Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. You need this? You probably need this. Could anything be more perfect? Look at this. Isn't it fashion? So much fashion happening here. Style should never be a dumpster, darling. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. Go ahead, darling. Treat yourself. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Tal'Dorei Campaign Setting Reborn. The definitive 5e sourcebook that brings the land of Tal'Dorei to your game. Rediscover the land of Critical Role's Vox Machina with nine dazzling subclasses, five rich backgrounds, and dozens of new creatures, feats, and magic items. The future of Tal'Dorei is in your hands now. How do you want to do this? Critters, it's me, Marisha Ray. I had exactly a minute and a half of free time today, so I thought I'd make a little unboxing video for y'all, unpacking everything you get with a Twitch subscription to Critical Role. Okay. Safety 
third. What was that? Oh. So the first thing we've got here is our live and professionally moderated chat. Uh, Twitch is the only place that you can actually get this. You know, it's a little strange to hold because it's an amorphous concept, but um, honestly, you can't deny this craftsmanship. It's really well made and, oh, oh, you can post links in this too. That's really cool. So yeah, put that in your chat. And, Click it. Oh, yeah, this is cool. This is the ability to watch all of Critical Role's VODs immediately after the live broadcast ends and before they're uploaded to YouTube. Oh, it smells like ranch? Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's that's me. <laughs> I had ranch on my salad earlier. Yeah, this smells like nothing. Oh, oh, here we have... <sighs> uh, gift subscriptions, which you can... Uh, Either give to a fellow critter by name or at random using a fancy Twitch algorithm. You can give away a lot of subs with this, which um, I guess it's why it's so heavy for something that's technically non-tangible with a value that's deeply subjective to the consumer. Oh, sick. Yeah, I'm so excited to show you all this part. With the Twitch subscription to Critical Role, you can use all of our incredible custom emotes in chat. We have so many emotes in here. Let's see, we have... Uh, Oh, Art Dad, super cool. Yeah, we got Ashley Hype, fun one. Oh, look at Trinket here, he's so like, oh, oh God, oh God. Uh, 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 Broom, Broom, hang on, I can fix this. I can fix this, I'm fixing it, Jerry! Oh God, okay, I'm sorry Trinket. Yeah, that'll work. Ugh. I need more glue, this is not gonna be enough. Don't tell Rachel, okay? Okay, please, nobody. Ah, uh, Shakira, will you cut this, this, all this out? And welcome back. <laughs> so, as you are a bit scattered between the front step region of the seminary, or within a distant workshop within the seminary, and within Professor Khadija Sumal's office in the seminary, Fern and Imogen. Wow. After speaking a bit to the professor, the door abruptly opened, and as Fern tried to play interference, an older elvish fellow with long silver hair blue robes, and a very stern expression, just looks at you with a smile and says, no. No what? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, you just walked in here rudely. I'm not interested. Step aside. 
Could I, can I see him from where I'm sitting, just for my reference, when oh, the doors are I see so you can look back and, and see, yes. And I would recognize him instantly from seeing him in the memories of. In the memories and the descriptions, you have a very, very strong idea this is the same individual. Okay. He begins to step in your direction. Whoa, 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 Fey life depends on it. What am I rolling? Charisma? You, no. This is how it happens. This is how it goes, She's Johnson. I hope you got a backup head. ready. In Sumal's head, she's going to hear if you have any tricks up your sleeve, now's the time to do it because this guy's powerful. I have I have advantage on, on magical effects and spells and things like you that. You do. Okay. What was it? Oh, clearly. He's in your head. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's really good. Dollar, dollar. Okay. Left, <laughs> left, 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 left. 26. Whoa. 26. Whoa. He just kind of gives you a look and runs his fingers, and you feel this kind of influence try and pierce your mind, and you, your fey ancestry manages to shrug off the effect. Ooh. And you watch as he goes. I'll wave back. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We are not the ones you're looking for. <laughs> he smiles and kind of chuckles. Amusing. What's your name? What's your name? Don't walk in here without telling me your name. <laughs> I'm Martin Ed Ludinus Deleth of the Cerberus Assembly of the Dwendalian Empire in Wyoming. One more time, because that's so long. I don't have time for this. Ludinous. He looks past <laughs> and begins to walk past you, just like entering the chamber behind you. You have ignored assembly requests for meeting for weeks now, and we are working on a short timetable. A foul. personal visit seems the most productive measure. Hmm? I'm going to be a foul mister. Okay. <laughs> Working with a gun. The door <laughs> slams behind him without him oh. touching it, and the locks. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, yeah, arcane lock that shit. You're gonna hear in your head. This real guy's bad news, like What's real, real, wizard? real, real bad news. No. <laughs> bad guy. This is bad guy. The professor goes, I, I, and like hears in your head and like looks at you and has no response. It's like in this kind of like shocked reaction, like like suddenly confronted with the nightmare she's been avoiding for a very long time. Looks back. I don't. I, I, and he just kind of continues. I believe you know why I'm here. I now know who you are, and with whom you ally. I feel like we're intruding on something. Yeah, this is just feels very personal. Like we Shit, shouldn't be you here. You might learn something. And he moves his fingers like this, and two chairs in the chamber <laughs> shift it behind you and kind of kick you down into a sitting position. <clears throat> Looks back to the professor. The archive recovered is extremely important to our research, but necessary excerpts have been missing. I would request at the behest of the Rendalian Empire and the other members of the Separatist Assembly that you turn over the remainder of the archive of your own volition. She just kind of looks at him. You now notice that as the door began to open, she like had already shifted the papers off the desk, but the desk hasn't been moved back, and there's just an opening in the ground where they're just kind of resting. She goes, I've, I, I, the, we gave over everything. It was delivered. It should have all, should have all, all been there already. I'm just, I'm just a professor. I, I, I'm a teacher. I don't. We're just teachers. We're just teachers. <laughs> kind of shoots a glance of his eye to you, back to her. We know you're not just a teacher. Mm -hmm. Few of you are. And he goes ahead and kind of brings his hand up and traces like one half circle in the air, threads his fingers through it, and kind of releases just this little flick in her direction. As it does, you see this little green tether that drifts in an arch towards her head. It touches her forehead and then kind of turns into smoke. And she immediately goes, of course. Oh. Reaches down, grabs wow. it, stands up and hands wow. it over to him. Wow! He takes it. That wasn't so hard, was it? Puts it into his robes. 
I do hate robbing them of their will. But some things are more important. You may sit. She sits down, kind of rests her hands on the desk and just waits. He turns over to the two of you. She was right. You do look just like your mother. I'm sorry, I'm being terribly rude. I've introduced myself to you, but not to you. I'm Ludinus de Leth, the Martinet, the Cerberus Assembly. It is genuinely a pleasure to meet you. I've heard of your prowess. A pleasure. And you. And me. Not quite an accident, but hmm? definitely of the Red Moon. How to it is. Well, is it time? Is it time that we were going? We should I probably we head, head out. We should probably be heading out, but. It's just been so great meeting you. You know, we've heard really good things. Very good things, like such good stuff. Please, I'd be curious to hear how I am represented this far to the southwest. Hair, your just, hair. Yeah, that's the biggest description, is yes. just mm. the silvery, silvery locks. Matt, Does, is, is Ludinus grabbing something around his neck? You were doing this unconsciously. Does he have something around his neck? You're not there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so where are you, you, where are you from? Can you roll a perception check if you like? Yeah. <coughs> oh, oh my god! Why? <laughs> nice <laughs> shot! Okay. That's you, everybody. Okay. Uh, okay, well, that's 13. 13. He briefly fiddled with something, but you're uncertain what it was. And what he does, you see there are all manner of intricate rings on his fingers. Uh, he, he, his clothing is intimidating in how well crafted and designed it is. There's an air of confidence that is genuinely terrifying through his smile. Though he seems almost pleasant, it's that odd sort of charismatic pressure that you can't help but be put off by as he just kind of looks at and through each of you. And what was your question for to him? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Are you single? <laughs> Two, yes. Well, oh, what was your question? Where are you from? Mm. Where, where, where do you reside? The continent of Wildmount. The continent of Wildmount. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've asked a question. It's only fair that I return the favor. What is your business with the professor? I had um, heard, I was just trying to find my mother, um, and I knew that she had, had spoken with this professor in the past, and I was hoping, just hoping to find out anything about her. I lost her when I was very young. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. If you have any burning questions, you're welcome to ask me as well. Very few have the opportunity to speak of someone of such history and repute. <laughs> it seems some of our, uh, he looks down to where he put the documents in his robe. Interests may overlap. Do you work with her personally? For some time, yes. 
She seemed rather integral to what we're doing. And I think I will be eternally grateful for what she's done. We all will be. You should be proud. I am. Thank you. If we were interested in helping your cause as well, what would we do? Well, Do you feel the pull? Northward. Do I? Oh. A little bit. There's always been this kind of direction sense you can't quite describe, and now that he says this, you remember there's always been this kind of moment in the morning when you wake up that you always kind of find yourself subconsciously glancing in a direction. Remember the dream that you had where you looked at the moon and felt it draw you towards it? Mm -hmm. And until now, you hadn't really connected the two. Follow the instincts. Both of you, if it's there. So, how, like, what's the, what's, how do we join? <laughs> 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 just like, mm -hmm. you know, just the things that we're learning and, and sort of the, the raw power. Look, I know you've had dalliances with the ignorant masses that try and tangle our hard work. I know you've confronted my associate, Thule, and I'm not blind enough to believe that you are just seeking entry into our merry band. Of course not. But I also know you only speak from a place of ignorance, misunderstanding. I'm not the one doing this. There are many of us working together to make this happen. This is important work. It's my life's work. Mm. So. Do you want to know how to help? Resisting. Stop resisting. Are you rude as born as well? I have my connections to the Red Moon, yes. Inside check. Make an inside check. Oh my god damn it, bro. Come on now. That'd be so high. Come on. <laughs> that's not high. That. 17. Oh, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's whoa. Is a I know, it's weird. Always has the you have bomb ass life. inside? Yo, yeah, he's good enough! A whisper! Oh, whisper! A whisper! I don't have any other fuck! I have, a, I have a, a combat thing. This isn't combat, this is a whisper. Combat of the minds. Combat of the mind. This, Thank you. This combat of the mind is brought to you by WizKids. Mind minis? <laughs> <laughs> Monsters of Exandria set three available for pre-order. Even more monsters from the wilds of Exandria. Uh, go to wizkids.io slash crminis or your local game store. Yeah. Of the mind. <laughs> <laughs> no. Does, um, does it speak to you directly? Yes, does it? <laughs> I've had my conversations, yes. Huh. So it, it, you get that feeling that's like really deep inside your chest. 
where you feel like a really intense anger and you know where it's coming from. He genuinely looks like he kind of lost the thread. <laughs> that's, that's just burned. That's it. Just Is that just you? <laughs> <laughs> just heartburn. I think a mother would love to see you. Hmm. She's talked about him. What'd she say? She's sad that her destiny took her on a different path. And she hoped it wouldn't lead you to the dangerous threads of fate that tug her ever away. But it seems, it seems you share a very similar destiny. She's been beckoning me to her for quite a while, and I've been resisting, but Maybe it's time to give in. He gives a very intense look at the two of you. Do you know what we're doing? He smiles. Learning. <laughs> He's read your fucking thoughts. Learning bits and pieces. Pretty enticing, though, I gotta say. Power is just a tool. All power is just a tool. Only the fools through history use it for personal gain and useless, eventually forgotten means. If you succeed, though, will it go away? Parts of it will. Hmm. For those that have cheated through boons unearned beyond just faith. This society is born on those who have gained power transactions, <sighs> unearned except for one. Granting their succor and obsession to these gods. We've never needed them. They've always needed us. It's happening soon, right? Hmm. Sooner than I'd like. But we'll be as ready as we can be. <clears throat> well, maybe we'll find you to the north. I have faith you will. What are, you, what are you doing with those papers? Hmm. Don't want to spoil the surprise. I don't really like surprises, so maybe you should just tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he leans forward and gets very close to your face, his eyes meeting yours. I watched the world burn at their behest. I saw the ruin their games left of our people. The destruction they brought down to stunt the potential of mortal minds and hearts. They act only to preserve themselves. So, If there is even an ounce of you that finds faith in them, there is no place for you amongst us. How old are you? 
I'll do this. He gives you a look. You don't have any faith either, are you? I never Why? needed it. Why? Why don't I have faith in the gods? Yes. They don't mean anything to me. Good. He turns to leave. Steps to the door, moves his finger. <laughs> Steps to the threshold, turns around. We are the seeds they plant and till and water. We struggle in the maze they shaped. Then when we expire, they return to their private gardens to be harvested and feed their power and dominance. Because they told us there is no alternative. This is how it is and we must thank them for it. We may be their creations, but all children outgrow their parents. And they came to fear our development, our potential, the matron, the age of our canon, the growing will of the mortal mind. The divergence, it wasn't to protect us. It was to protect them from us. And he steps out of the room and the door closes. What is, um, the professor doing through all this? She's just sitting there with a smile on her face and a tear rolling down her cheek. Mm. Professor Sumo? destroyed her brain. We'll send somebody for you. She now looks over and kind of smiles and nods. Is there anything he didn't take? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I look down in the, um, the reset. Oh, no. place that she took the documents out of. Is there anything left in there? It's pretty barren. You can go investigate it further if you like. Sure. I'll assist. Okay. You look inside. There's a small pouch. It's got some coins in it. It's like a gold ring. Kind of like a, a bug out fund. I'm not going to take that. I'll yeah, we should leave that with her, right? Fern, yes, we should. Okay, yeah, just making just in case. Yeah, because she, if she needs to leave, she's going to need to. I'm going to tuck that in her pocket. Tuck it in, she kind of watches your hand, kind of looks at you. Thanks. Mm. I wish. <clears throat> How old? He, he spoke like he saw it. I know. That's what I heard. Like he was actually there. Okay, I think we need to tell everybody. 
Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. We've got to stop him. I've got to find my mother. Yeah, we, we should find your mom. We have a lot to do. We've got a lot to do. Let's, 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 let's head out to the front. Okay, yeah. let's go to the front. Okay. In the interim, the three of you out front. Oh yeah. I was wondering. So I come to you in this pantry, and like, and like, I wake up. I'm tied to a chair, and Violet's, so Violet's uh, just behind me, and that sociopathic elf just will not shut the fuck up. And in the meantime, I was just, this some asshole is just yelling at me that my face keeps leaving a dent in their industrial garlic press. They're trying to figure out why. And I, I mean, I, I guess. Man, I think independent contract work was really unhealthy, and I'm really glad I'm not doing that sort of shit anymore. I'm surprised you let them tie you to the chair. That seems very giving on your part. Well, I was unconscious at that point because of that just fucking accountant that came through. Happened to have uh, just a sleep spell. We got knocked out. At least that's what I think happened. Violet the would Kenku. not show. It wasn't the Kenku. It was a different Kenku, but wow. clearly they were related. They had some sort of thing. And, not and this time, Morum. Mm -hmm. As I'm in this conversation, you're kind of like Solly was just yelling at Looking me. off at the top of the stairs, you see descending. An individual that catches your attention. And we didn't see that individual hair. approach the building. No. Mm -hmm. And it's long white hair. Right. Long white, mm -hmm. silver hair, long blue gold robes. Older Elvis gentleman, just hands kind of tucked into each other's sleeve, just walking down the stairs. Shiver up uh, Orm's spine, but he's going to try not to react at all. Just for the hell of it, mm. I'd like you three to make just for the either smell of it. stealth or deception checks. Your choice. I have advantage on oh stealth. It's consciously though, so fuck it. Ten. Twenty-three. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Nineteen. Okay. Go. Go. <laughs> Sorry. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. I can okay. Doesn't seem to acknowledge or make any specific motions towards noticing or giving really any interest in your directions. Descends to the bottom of the stairs and continues walking out into the main cobblestone thoroughfare beyond the entry walls to the seminary. What about the cookware? Was it like silver or was it wooden? It was. It, well, I mean, like the handle was. It was very expensive. They actually made a point of telling me how much, how expensive it in was. The ribs like really hard. Fifty ah. gold. That, like, oh, hold that thought. I do want to hear the end of this saga. <laughs> there. What? What? And I point in the crowd to him. I assume like wading into vanishing into the crowd. Memorize that fucking guy's head. Yeah. In the robe, the hair. Mm -hmm. The face. Hard mess. That's tough. That young thing. What? Gotta be. We gotta oh. get inside. They might not be okay. No, no. Yeah, we gotta get inside. All right, no, no, come on. Casual. 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 Oh, casual. I don't know. Show okay. the lead. Show the lead. This feels an awkward walk, I can. <sighs> <laughs> As you all begin to shuffle in, we come to the two of you. All right, looking at this. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Oh my god. <gasps> wow. <laughs> That's so neat. It's got a little compartment to make sure that when you eat the things, it stays in there and doesn't like end up falling all over the place and onto the ground. So that way you have both the intake of that and the intake of this both work simultaneously. Wow, thank you so much, Professor. This is great. I'll, I'm going to try to cook something in here and I'll send, I'll send it to you as a gift of a thank you. Make sure you send it from a place not too far away, depending on how perishable the actual right, food yeah, item is. Yeah, I'm very, very happy to try it. That recipe for Escherosa's cookies. Oh yeah, I know. I'm gonna try, try it out. First. Yeah, that's I'm going brilliant. to. Oh, wow, goodness. this has been such a fun day. Oh, it has been a complete honor. I have never really had the opportunity to do give direct adjustments to an Ormatan. This is, uh, I cannot wait to put together a lecture about this experience. <laughs> Well, um, uh, like I said, I'll check in soon, and um, hey, we're gonna head out, but we should go find them. It, where's uh, Professor Sumal's office? 
Oh, for place of some love. Uh, yes, you head down. Uh, and it gives you like the directions around the space to it. it says, I am uncertain that she's in today. She's kind of sporadically in and out of the seminary, mm. but uh, you know that is where you will find her if she's here. We'll have. We'll just have a check. Okay. Right? Yeah. Such a pleasure. Okay. Trust me, the pleasure you're is so entirely mine. Oh, you're so wonderful. <laughs> a very, very safe journey to both of you. Um, to fresh cut grass, an absolute honor. Takes your hand and kind of holds it and kind of looks you directly in the eye. I hope our paths cross once again. I hope so too. They will. They will. Yes, they will. You just <laughs> Travel really. safe. Enjoy your journeys. Hope you continue to pursue your intellectual path in life. <laughs> and when you graduate, please write a letter so I can oh, know. Right. I would be yes, very happy yeah. to hear about your oh various uh, uh, pursuits. Yes. We will. Yes. All right. See so you at graduation. You know, um, <laughs> Is it, are you asking about where uh, Professor Sumal was? Imogen was supposed to check in with me and let me know where that room was. But didn't she say she would only <clears throat> be able to talk to you for a few minutes? Right, but I thought she would at least give the room number. <laughs> I don't know, let's, um, let's go let's find her. Let's head that way. Okay. <laughs> about this time, as you guys are heading in that direction, the three of you, you step to the top of the stairs, kind of carefully begin to enter, indeed, um, one question. Yes. As he was leaving, <coughs> Martinette, before we headed up the stairs, was anybody moving to flank his position? Was he alone? Did anyone? Nobody was going down the stairs with him. You can make a perception check if you'd like. Yeah, like even as he was coming down the steps, okay. did somebody like, like mm -hmm. come out of the crowd to give him cover? Secret service. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. You don't see anything, fortunately, as you're looking for it. You who rolled higher than that when you were keeping an eye, kind of continue to watch the crowd as you go. Cute. You do see <laughs> two dark. other figures in familiar dark red and silver robes, akin to the ones you had battled in a house recently. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. Mm. Meet up with him across the way, oh. and you watch the three of them. He's with the Ruby Vanguard. Vanish from the middle of the road. Mm. Other people nearby are like, "Whoa!" There's like a reaction of like an Ooh. audible, you know, group of people who are like, "What the?" Oh. Never got used to it. You know, people are just yeah. <laughs> blown away by the sort of oh, magic ooh. for a brief moment, and then go about their conversations for the day. So we're we heading to Smalls. Indeed, Damn. but the three of you, you get to the top and you indeed see uh, Carol, mm -hmm. the clerk there. Uh -oh. How do you wish to get by? You're just going to barge through. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Carol. Hey. Oh, yes, yes, hi. We're back. Um, is this a good time? It's not a good time. It's never a good time. Oh. I was, uh, I was duped by you. Um, well, I mean, I don't want to make a big, you know, stink about it, especially right in the middle of the lobby of the entire school. Of course, not. go right ahead, it's fine. We're just here to deliver a gift to uh, Professor Sumal. We're only going to be a little while. Actually, the most of us are inside already, so we're just trying to catch up. I can't allow that to happen after what happened earlier today. That Do was... you really want to get into that right now, right here? Publicly? It's my job. Carol, I'm supposed to be the nice guy in our group. I really don't want to cause a row here. I an intimidation check. <laughs> Like the nicest intimidation. Yeah, I don't have good intimidation. Um, you can use your strength if you like. I can, I'm going to. I'm going to <laughs> assist with this intimidation. How are you going to assist sure. with this? I'm very, very slowly going to pull out a large, sil uh, 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 silver-handled wooden pot spoon. <laughs> you know, they're shoved in the back. That's about. It's clearly just seen a little bit of fucking use today. Mm -hmm. And there, there, it, there's some cracks. There might be some blood on it. Maybe marinara. Who knows. <laughs> We're in a real rush, so if you don't mind, please, pretty fucking please, just let us in. I'm right. starting to carve her likeness into my left tit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I slap you your tit real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make an additional intimidation check, yes. or you can make it. Uh, I'll let uh, Ash um, do will that. I, will I take the, the advantage because of you, or no? No, he's already rolled. Okay, he's yes, already rolled. Okay. And a little louder, or we'll say, I mean, we're just here to learn. We really don't want to cause any problems. Natural 20 for 27. Yeah, mm. there we go. She looks at the spoon. <laughs> this has already been somewhere today. I can tell. I've had a long day. I'll be careful. There you go. I have to go That's check yes. in. 
Thank you. We're going. going. <laughs> yeah. Just knock stuff off the. No, I, I... <laughs> you see, like frustratingly, kind of like curse herself under her breath, while Ashen wanders in. Buy something nice with that five platinum. I head off. I'll finish this later. You have to hold still. <laughs> <laughs> the three of you begin to enter the hall just as you see a bit above you, uh, entering from a different direction. Uh, FCG and Ladna. What are you doing? Where are Fern and Imogen? We were just going to go meet them in They're small in halls. The other office. Did you hear saw, something? No, we just saw Dalith. What? Heading out of the seminary. Fuck, I'd head that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, they have the directions, so you guys don't have to search for it. They go directly to the office. You two, what are you doing? Okay. I think we should look for any books, maybe that, 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 that have to yeah, do with any of this. We're going to look through the office and see if we can find any other information. Um, I'm just, like, I feel like I should try to, like, read her thoughts, but I'm afraid if I, like, do it, then I'm going to... Mm. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal. I don't think you can make it worse, and I think you should do it. I know that this is a terrible thing what's happening. Maybe we can come back and fix it. I'm just saying, maybe we should just try that while we're here, and is that bad? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use up the remainder of my sorcery points. Goodbye, for sorcery points. And I'm gonna regain a third level spell mm -hmm. and a second level spell. Mm -hmm. And maybe what we do is we, we call Rin. Here. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, she could probably do something to help. Yeah, and and I could, you know, read her thoughts um, as well. I just, in case something goes wrong, maybe Rin can just take us quickly mm -hmm. to the other people. Yes. You know. I think that's a good. That's a good plan. That's a good plan. <sighs> we gotta get. We gotta get everyone else. We gotta. Okay. You do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek out, go grab everybody, and, but just scream if something's wrong. All right. Okay, are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. Are you okay? You can't even answer me. Okay, I'm gonna He's go. looking at you like. You're gonna be, you're gonna be great. Okay. Have fun, or I'll be back. He's throughout the door. Pulling it open again, glance out, and just literally ten feet to the left, you see the rest of your friends, like right oh, there. Hey. Guys, what happened? What? What happened? What? What's, What's going on? Going? I barge past Fern. You enter the interior of the office, and you can see the scene here. This like kind of dark lit interior. The desk shifted forward slightly, and the professor just kind of sitting as you all enter. The professor kind of smiles as you all enter. Hi. Oh, hi. He got the omen archive. He. Doth saw him on the front steps. You. He got. He got everything they had left. He. Her mind is. I just grab Imogen. Are you all right? I'm. I'm fine. Did he do anything to he you? He didn't hurt us. He what didn't... did he say? What happened? No, he, didn't. he said so much. Um. He, he wants. I don't know. I'm not. back out in the hallway. I'm it looking at the door frame. I'm looking for any. Bombs, sigils, markings, anything that looks weird, like this is about to be erased. This room. Okay. Make an investigation check for me. Shit. We need to get out of here. Oh, that's fucking great. That's really deep. Uh, 23. 23. Giving a rather thorough examination of the space while they're conversing, you get the sense that. No. Nothing was left behind to close the loop. Hmm. I'll stay out in the hallway just in case. Okay. We need to call Plane Rider in here. Yeah. Across yeah. the entire continent for this. I know. What did he, he took? He took them? He took the papers? He took the papers? Yeah. I don't even know what all was on there, but she'd been hiding them for so long. 
How did he know right now to come here? Has he been following us? Or he following knew about you? us? I don't know, but he definitely knew about us. No one knew about you, but he knew that you would be here now, or that you, how did he find you here now? Was he looking for you, you think? No, he was looking for her. But he, she's different. always been here, this is her office. She, he could have come anytime. Why did he come now? Maybe to meet Imogen. Do you yeah. have, how? do you have an ability to help her out? Her mind has been. Actually, how bad is it? Hold on. Hey, hi. Hi. I'm sorry, what's your name, by the way? I'm Khadija. Khadija? Yeah. Uh, how old are you? Uh, it's okay if you don't know, just it's been a rough day, trust me. If it's too hard, it's okay. My head hurts. Oh, yeah. What's, uh, what you been thinking about? I had a, I had pages. Yeah, you did. That's, that's right. Uh, it's okay. I don't really, I mean, I can, there's something. I can try to cure her. I mean, I don't think that's gonna do it. Do you need anything? Do you want anything Maybe right now? Or anything? Yeah. Yeah. Not today. Maybe we can call we Rainier. We could have some water. Yeah, I got that. Water. Water? I feel a little iffy just I'm gonna leaving her here in case they come back to clean up afterward. She's also... Why would they bother? She's in a school with some of the most brilliant yeah. professors yeah, and yeah, magic yeah. users. They'll... They can help her. They won't know what happened, though. But they will know what to do. We could leave a note, or go, I could go tell the professor that I was just talking to. Maybe she'd be better off with Kai. That's that's what I mean. We could, yeah. we could bring her to, yes. to them. Get out of here. With Emerald? Yeah. I mean, yes, they, they are allies. Especially if we don't know how much the rest of the, the Sanctum knows about yeah. their inner workings. Do you, do you know who Kai is? Yeah. Would you like to go see Kai? Would that make you happy? Okay. 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 Shit. Okay. He's really powerful. Yeah, that was the death. Yeah. You sure he didn't hurt you? No, he didn't. He, he just talked. All right, well, I, I agree with Chetney. We've got to get the fuck out of here, so let's... <laughs> Cool. Did you say did that? Did I say that? You did. Yes. With your posture. Yes, I can tell. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send a message to Plane Rider Rin. Be ascending? Yes. Okay. Um, we're in Sumal's office. We need a fast exit. She's been hurt. I'll tell her when she gets here. Okay. Another rapid response from plane riders. Well, shit. I was really hoping that he was elsewhere. On <sighs> my way. Okay. She's she's coming. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna start looking through the books and see if there's anything. Make an investigation check. Oh, my investigation is so bad. Does anyone else want to Yeah, look? we can help. I'm bad at investigation, too. I can help. You can both roll, or you can take advantage. What are you trying to do? You do it. I remember when our party used to have super detectives. What are you trying to do? I'm rolling with it. I'm old rolling with it. Old man advantage. smell left in this room from <laughs> Ooh, yeah, ancient aisle. Son oh of a bitch. Okay. Okay. Hair product. Yeah. Yeah. Make, Hair make product. it icy hot up in this motherfucker. Make a perception check with advantage because it's scent based. 
Oh. Gotta catalog these things when you can. God damn it, that's it a five. Oh. Did, wait, did you roll that one? I rolled these two. Oh. I have okay. a very garlicky smell right now. It's yeah. probably really oh. fucking shit out. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, there, there's multiple scents in here. Yeah. You, you didn't quite catch anything that would be directly his. And out in the hallway, because there's just so much stank in that room, uh, the offices to the left and the right of them, are they a good distance away or relatively close? Or is he at the end of the hallway? Uh, no, they're, they're a fair distance apart. Distance? They're a fair they're distance, fair distance apart. They're, they're a fair distance apart. Um, you're not sure of the layout of this side of the hall or building, um, but the distance and the size of this hall leads you to believe that there is like a gap between them. Whether that's a smaller room, or this is this is the one on the outside, maybe the, the wall maybe like a crenellated, you know, layout to it. I don't think there's such a thing. I don't know, but the offices seem far apart. What's that mean? I don't know. Maybe we had a secret room. A secret room? Yeah. I mean, usually. If, yeah. All right. So I um, can look around if you want. Did you roll? I rolled. We didn't find it. Very eight. <laughs> yeah, this chamber, a lot of books, a lot of books and collection elements. But it doesn't take long for in the doorway itself, the form of Plane Rider Ringe kind of apparates. A familiar sight to those who have used invisibility. What's up, Bay? Is it a ping? All right, that's certainly curious. Um, oh, my dear. You, you can do mind things, right? Can you fix her? This is, uh, this is a bit far from my purview. This is going to be more of a, a divine healer. I think I may have somebody to bring to for this. I'm a divine healer, I think, but. Can you restore the most powerful of curses? I can, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do not worry. I'll ensure the professor gets the help that she needs. So, so you, she can be fixed. She can. I think. Oh, that's great. Your confidence is intoxicating. Are you going to take her under your protection for now? Unless you plan to, I'll. No. We gotta get going. Oh shit! Wait! Uh, check in with Pate! Look through his eyes! Just about to ask. Okay, look through Pate's eyes. Currently sitting kind of on the shoulder of this guy who's kind of sitting there and just kind of like poking him <laughs> in the face <laughs> over and over you again. Just go through his oh, eyes as he's doing yeah. that. <laughs> you just see his hand go. <laughs> and the guy's just like. Yes. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> good boy, good boy. We'll be there soon. Will we? I don't know. Yeah, we saw Ludinus, the Martinet, meeting up with some members of that Ruby Vanguard. Mm. Yeah, he showed up and got the rest of the archive. Great, wonderful. Uh, well, that moves our timeline a bit. What is your plan next? Well, what I do have... you mean it, m it moves our timeline? Why? It doesn't move the apogee solstice. What do you mean? No, no, but. Urgency. Some of the things that we were trying to use to slow them down and keep it from them have fallen to the cracks. So. Do you know? Or does. Evan Old Kai know what was just stolen? What's in those pages? She kind of thinks for a second. As far as I know, the remaining pieces that were part of those papers. They included the names of all the known living exaltants within Exandria as part of the archives notes. It also detailed the rotations of Ruidus and the pattern of its orientation during each flare through recorded history. Yeah. Good stuff. That's bad. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't have all the exaltants in there. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, it's only, it's only like, it was only a handful of pages, so it was only that little bit of that information, right? We gotta start making moves. Maybe it was double space. Where are we going? Does it, uh, we gotta do get you, out of here, We go right? to the Fae, does the fae realm. Does still feel like we should hit the Fae realm first, or does this change that plan? Does it? 
I leave that in your best interests here. No. There were, if we have three targets here, whatever one you're most comfortable stepping into. You still like the idea of trying to weaken one in the Fey Realm with help of Grandmama? Yeah. And hopefully that buys us some time. Dalith is I mean. one of the most powerful people on the surface of this flat earth. <laughs> you dick. He gets Do it. No. Orem gets it. No. <laughs> He's got some good points. No. <laughs> wow. 19 to hit. Not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you take a hammer to the face. No, just fist. Just fist. Just just yeah. Oh, 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 there it is. <sighs> 19 to hit. I don't, oh, sure, that hits. Yeah. <laughs> Knock it off. Oh. Okay. Guys, can I remind you to just please try to be friendly oh, with each yeah. other? It's okay. It's okay. This is how it's I show okay. affection, you know that. It's okay. Oh, everyone's broken. But if we run right after him, we're likely to get mauled. Maybe the realm, maybe we keep maybe if we make their job harder by making some messes for them to clean up. Yeah. And then we hit the middle? Yes. Alright. Fey Realm. If if your grandmother can make time slower and give us a little bit of extra something, mm. that'll help, right? Yeah, I, I, yes, that would totally help. I mean, I think she could help in, in every way. She could feed us, which, you know, we don't want to do this on an empty stomach. No. What? We gotta go. <laughs> Let's go recruit a fucking grandma. Mm. Let's do this shit. Are we doing this? We're not doing the shadow. The shadow. No, we're going to grandma's. No, we should go to your to grandmother's, grandmother's house. house we go. Mm -hmm. Maybe she knows someone who could help us in the shadow fell. Oh, that's. I don't think we want to go there at all. <laughs> well, but we, well, we might have I don't know to. What happened, but sure. Let's go find out. You're right. You're right. Yeah, we got to shit or get off the pot. Let's go to the Fey Realm. Let's go. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Yeah, we're going. Let's go. Ren. Ren. All right. Very well. Uh, now, are you able to? Summon Pate. Summon Pate we I, can't I uh, break him and then bring him back? I believe you can. I'll allow it. it makes sense within your your especially since you are focused specifically on the on familiar pack sure to the Pate chain. Pate kills him first. Okay, Pate. Yeah. One last like double doozy to the eyes. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, he, and he does. He just explodes and viscera <laughs> on the shoulder of the guy somewhere in a, in a warehouse. The guy's going. <laughs> As he like reappears in the air next to you, from like actually the ends of your hair, then I explode. Ends of your hair kind of like <laughs> begin to stretch out and and begin to wrap around before you see yeah, flesh kind of and out of my hair. Yeah. Oh, back at your side like you said. What? What? Back at your side like you said. <laughs> 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 well, it was very clear. That's all I heard. <laughs> oh my god. Man, the lion Okay. Good boy. Uh, <laughs> um, Ren, what's his body still in the warehouse? He's tied up. I'll look into Tall him. Tallest. I'll take care of him. Thank I'll you. bring him back because he might be useful in other ways as well. Okay then, where are you off to? Oh, do you have a specific location in the Fey Sure, Realm? sure. Um, we are going to the Harrow Call Fens. Um, more specifically, if we can just go straight to Grandma's house. Um, it's known as Ligament Manor. Oh. Ligament Manor? No, I fucking I really slow was rolling excited. piece of shit. Ligament, Ligament Manor. Manor. Sounds cozy. So I'm, I'm in this so chewy. So nice. <laughs> is that, does that sound familiar? Can you take us, I mean, if we I can, I can send you within the vicinity of a specific location, yes. Okay. Um, the magic is imperfect across planes, and I'm not specific where in that region it will give you, uh, we got a lot of chaos Landing in here, space. too, so God only knows. Um, God's only knows. I'll do my best. Close the door, close the door. Lock, 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 lock. I mean, it's oh, you have to leave anyway, right? Locks don't even matter. She turns around and goes to Khadija and goes, come on, dear, sit over here for a second and uh, have a drink your water. And she takes it, kind of sits and drinks it, and he watches Rin kind of like combs her fingers through her hair a bit and kind of shakes her head. <sighs> This is going to put us here for the better part of a day before I can get some rest, but I think, I 
think it's best since you are seen that you abscond soon. All right, gather up. To the Fey Realm, the Harrow Call Finn, Fens? Harrow Call Fens, yes. There. You have to tell me how it is when you return. I'm genuinely curious. And the Ligman's Manor. She goes ahead and pulls in. Do you in. want me to get this one? Yeah, if you don't mind. Okay. Alakazam. <laughs> I'm very unkind. Like, Malachi Z. This is going to go poorly. Is anybody. Am okay? I stealing your thunder? No, please. Go go ahead. He is such an asshole. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of like it. Seeing your moment. Uh-huh. <laughs> she reaches into her pouch and kind of. Holes. And you see that she reaches in and she goes like up to the, the elbow in her pouch, which is only about that deep. And she <laughs> reaches around for a second, pulls out a, uh, a small case. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying. Sex holes. <laughs> Fucking dicks. <laughs> the calf comes in. <laughs> <laughs> It's difficult. Sorry. And she casts you to the hells <laughs> of Exandria. <laughs> End of campaign. <laughs> <laughs> she pulls out this like long wooden case, unlatches and opens up, and you see these series of unique looking metallic rods, each about between four to six inches long. And they're made of different materials, the different shapes and different some of them look twisted, some of them look like they're made of a like a, a bright golden bronze metal. There's one that you see that has almost like a glowing red hue to it, and it's and the, the the like small pieces of metal that hold it themselves look like they're made of different material as well. There's one that looks like a jet black coloration with like a vein of red going through it. What is um, that one for? You don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> reaches over and grabs one that looks like a gnarled root, about that long, and as she goes and touches it and pulls it, you watch as two flowers like spontaneously bloom on it. Awesome. And she goes and takes one, plucks it, puts it in your hair, closes her case, puts it back in the pouch. All right, cuddle up, it's gonna be a ride. Holy shit, we're going off world. <laughs> Guys, this is gonna be so fun. I hope I don't kill you. Let's go. She goes and, and places the rod between her hands, and she begins to trace. What? Up in the air around her, begins to carve this circle in the air, and as she does, you watch as the air kind of divides and splits, almost like she's like she's a knife through silk. And you watch as the silk begins to fall forward, there is this kind of spiral, this tunnel of energy. And as she carves around this large circle as the rest of this kind of silk of reality falls forward, leaving cool. this opening to this kind of constantly swirling, endless tunnel, she walks around it and goes, get in, and pushes you all into it. Yeah. Yeah. You all immediately yeah. being pulled through, kind of free-falling, grabbing yeah. onto each other before <laughs> you all land out the opposite side into this kind of soft, spongy ground. Dark lit, the space around you is unfamiliar and disorienting. You're not entirely certain for a few moments what's up, what's down, before you all come to stop and kind of rest. That was amazing. Are we here? Welcome. You now see yourself in a creepy, magical marshland of stacking gnarled trees that twist in odd directions to form a large web-like ceiling of corkscrew branches and trunks in all directions for hundreds of feet. You don't even see a canopy of leaves, it's just a latticework of trees that twist around each other and bend, leaving just little gaps and just a hint of this kind of pinkish purple Skylight that occasionally peeks through. Mm. Fern, is this your vibe? It is absolutely my vibe. Okay. And welcome to my home. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst all these, this large web-like structure of branches, you can see there's like a, a vibrant blue and green moss that blots out chunks of the Multicolored uh, bark that surrounds this, kind of giving its own kind of ever 
undulating glow in the space, these massive uh, like ferns and bushes that gather around the base of these trees, and the floor that you stand on where you landed is this like very thick, spongy moss. And as you kind of press it with your arms, you can feel kind of the moisture, like you're at the, the very top of a very shallow bog or swamp. They kind of You hear the ever-present sound of deep calling toads. Mysterious gibbering fauna echoing through the wilds. It's Hunter's Bane, and is it just like <laughs> everywhere? <laughs> this is the like the I've seen infinity moment for for a blood hunter <laughs> who's only encountered a handful of fae in their time. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like they may have taken too much? I oh boy! Still have that baggie of weird drugs. Not right now. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> Maybe not that later. You don't want to stack. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Uh, it uh, just feels like the right no environment. No better time than, than, than any, I guess. Uh, do you recognize this room? Yeah, do you yes. have any idea where uh, we yeah, are? Yeah, I know exactly where we are. Do you? Yeah. Insight check. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Make a persuasion or deception check, however you believe her. <laughs> however you believe. Whatever you think, maybe. I know where I am. I know where I am. It's a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a two for a four. <laughs> so you're just that bad at lying. No. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I know where we are. Uh, uh, this is pretty close. Right. Pretty close to home. We just go so this which way. way. Make survival check, friend. Survive. <laughs> Twenty-two. Ooh. Twenty-two. Not bad. Yeah, you glance around and you just kind of look at the small flowers that are kind of peeking off the sides of the trees. And as you approach, you watch this tiny little, like, bright orange and red and like a deep green coloration on the, the petals. As you approach, they kind of open across the tree, and some of them almost seem to be leaning in your direction. Hey. Mm. This way, right? Thank you. I just, it's been a while. Love you, bye. <laughs> they all kind of nod towards you. Wait, do you know them? What? I know pretty much everything here. Wow. Yeah. I think made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> right this way, right this way. <gasps> this is great. It's burning a little bit weirder right now. <laughs> now, this is the interesting point. When you look at Fern, She's Fern, but her, there's something different about her. Her features are sharper. Her eyes are bigger and deeper. The ears seem to almost be longer. Her limbs seem to be just slightly exaggerated. There's this otherworldly kind of Air about her that is just unique. <coughs> Did we change animators? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, too real. Too real. Sorry. I'm envisioning. Uh, I'm envisioning really dark, dilated blue eyes. Oh yes. Right now. <laughs> Love y'all. Yeah. It's 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 upsetting at a first glance. Does everybody else look normal? Everybody else looks normal. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a vibe. I think I look a little different when I leave here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a little, yeah, a little, a little bit. bit, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're a little creepy, and I'm kind of here for it. Really? Yes. It's working. Yeah. Thanks. I yeah. Your this arms is... look nice and like slim, and like like you oh. can kind of see like. Your muscle structure? I, 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 sometimes I can be pretty strong. I think she's mm -hmm. a little taller too. I probably. Could yeah. just be posture. You were already tall. Yeah, I do. We all look different, or just you? Just her. Just, just her. Just me. So I feel a little cheap. I don't too. have feet or anything. How's your wheel doing in the bog? It's okay. It's all terrain. 
I think your tongue might have gotten longer. <laughs> Only when I lie. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Okay. I think we go this way. All right. Yeah. Be this way. Burn is guiding us. And my senses are exploding. I have uh, advantage to track Fafin and undeads. Can I look for uh, tracks of any unnatural size or nature that might be alarming? So sure, yes, sort of you may. Make a survival check with advantage. Natural 20. Ooh. Nice. I got Natural 20. Um, you look around and you don't see any, like, Tr- like heavy imprints in the spongy Marsh. material around there. What you do notice is fresher patches of moss. And as you go and approach kind of the slight variation in coloration, it looks like like a tree was ripped out of the ground and the moss just kind of grew over it. Fresh and then another, and then another. And then another. <laughs> but it's not like an imprint. Tree. It's a removal. Yeah. It's like something rooted, tearing itself free repeatedly. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. Should we be. No, I didn't see it. Is there. Um... Are there dangers? Yes. Of course. Okay. In regards to your grandmother, though, mm-hmm. is there anything we should definitely not do in her presence? Right, we're on your home turf or now. Do, do. The do we need to yeah. Her presence? Something do, do. we should say, something to Just make her. Just tell her, mm-hmm. you know, show her your excitement for being here. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if she offers you anything, it's rude if you don't take a drink mm-hmm. or, you know, a pie or anything like that. Um, she loves to entertain. So, um, she's just a, she's just a real chatterbox, you know? She just really wants somebody to listen. Uh, and that's really just what we all want, right? Mm-hmm. So just sit and, and just hear her and see her, I think. And we're gonna go see her regardless, but yeah. we're all safe. Of course, right, why would Grandma? you not be? Uh, uh, I know this place is intense, but you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. At that point, you hear, Something massive in the trees above just takes off and. We found me here. <laughs> <laughs> it knows where I am. It's okay, FCG. It's all right. Doctor Nesbitt. What? Oh. No response. That's her friend. Who's a bird? We'll meet him later. All right, let's go. You begin to follow Fern through this odd landscape. It rises and falls, and as it falls, it grows damp. As it rises, it grows more damp. You see these puddles, but the puddles almost seem to curve over the top as you step over them, kind of defying the physics of water and other places you've walked or been. As you kind of step around it, occasionally you watch it seep in, and the ground descends, and other parts rise. You begin to feel like the landscape itself is slowly breathing around you, like the actual surroundings is its own living organism. You almost swear you could hear breathing. Almost. Almost. Mm. Continuing to trek forward, you notice more of these flowers among the trees, and as you walk through, some like recoil and tremble, some hide and close their bulbs, but as you pass by, regardless of their state, they still track you as you go. Mm. <laughs> Watching you as a group. They all have personalities? Oh, uh, I don't know, I guess so, but they do sing. Really? Yeah. Mm. They seem so afraid of us. Well, that's just because they don't know you. So, oh. like, is it, are we being group? Should we make our acquaintance? If you'd like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just yeah, give just say hello or just sing a tune or mm. um give it a sniff. 
Oh, God, Matt's being a creepy flower. <laughs> I'm literally just me listening to you, but sure. <laughs> you look creepy. Good. You're being so creepy. Like, I'm looking at my wife. Oh, no. You're such a creepy flower. I have things to evaluate Thanks. tonight. <laughs> um, okay, um, just. With you. All right, come, come, because you're like, you know. Sometimes it's better if you have a friend, of you know, course. making the introduction. Of course. All right. Um, I'm going to touch one of the flowers underneath. As you touch it, you watch the, the bud kind of open up, and it's this kind of like beautiful, like a like a blue green, almost aquamarine aquamarine coloration to it. And as you kind of run your fingers across it, the tips kind of go to a dark purple, and eventually match the black at the tips of your fingers. And it seems to like reach for you. Do you want to touch it? Um, it gets may a little tingly. Oh, may I touch you? Pretty, pretty flower. You should sing to it, right? Mm -hmm. yes. You should sing to it. It kind of like quivers a little bit. Oh, it's getting aroused. Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> you touch the flower and it kind of like leans into your hand. Oh. And just kind of just kind of leans, putting, oh. a, putting the faintest bit of weight that a flower can do into your palm, and oh. the the colors kind of shift a little bit back from that like green blue teal to that black. Oh my goodness! I know it's marvelous. <sighs> it's being so sweet. I know. Oh, you're so cute. You definitely responded to the touch and the brief sound of your voice. Tickle. Withdraws back into the tree. Too much. I might have been overzealous. A few other ones kind of like. Okay. Um. Tickle us. Tickle us. Maybe just in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. Just, just in a hurry. Just <laughs> wanted to say, nice to meet you. I'm Lodna. As you sing a minute and say Lodna and hold the note, they all kind of like quiver. <gasps> cool, cool, cool. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. They respond to oh, voice. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um. Toodaloo! <laughs> Hold my hand, I'm scared. <laughs> I know it's a lot. I love that, Lodna, you get scared of flowers. <laughs> you keep walking and. From the flower. <laughs> Initially, kind of a, a curious, occasional patch of flowers would open. Now that you've made a connection. <laughs> Many, many flowers are emerging in the nearby trunks and branches and bushes. Some like growing almost instantly. You watch as, in just a matter of seconds, the sapling kind of and it just kind of leans towards you. Almost like the whole space is yearning. This is overwhelming. It feels like they all want my attention. I just don't have like the bandwidth. Right now, sure, but they really like you. Mm. This doesn't usually happen. Mm. But it's you can do whatever you like, you don't have to stay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They won't get offended, they won't get offended. All right, um, we're in such a hurry, but I'll just do um. I was just trying to do a little, you know, a run by, little um, reaching out of the hands as much as I can, high and you know, high fives, yeah, like I'm running <laughs> through a stadium. Yes, exactly. The flowers are like, <laughs> <laughs> you're just smashing a bunch of flowers in the tree trunks, and they're all like, <laughs> they're all withdrawing. Oh, oh. gently, I'm gently <laughs> caressing them. <laughs> oh, creepier. <laughs> yeah, that's worse. They all. <laughs> At once, withdraw, <laughs> and suddenly all the color in the space around you leaves at once. Uh, leaves. Has nice. that happened before? What is that? 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we should just go. Let's Maybe just, we get, just like, go to where we're supposed really to go. See Grammys. Thing. Just a bad speed dating moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You hear this? <laughs> the sound of shifting, creaking wood on a large scale and colliding branch and vine <laughs> as bits of moss and fungus and other rotting flora kind of dusts from above as you see one of the twisting trees nearby lift one of its twisted trunks out of the ground. This trunk itself about 10, 15 feet across Whoa. as it kind of lifts up. <laughs> right across in the direction you are about to travel. And as it hits, you watch as the roots expand and stick into the ground. You hear that strain, that, that loud creaking sound as the tree seems to almost be lowering in your direction. We went and got their mom. Mm -hmm. We should have taken a rest. Mm -hmm. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. It's like it's lower and lower and lower until it's about 10 feet above you as oh, other God. branches begin to almost be forming a cage. We're five? <laughs> This is your grandmother, Fern. It's just the trees. <laughs> it seems it's not it's not so tight where you couldn't leave, but the trees it's so it's hard to tell if it's multiple trees or one huge tree with a thousand branches and trunks. You're not sure where they begin or end between each other. They're so tangled into each other to create this weird shifting lattice scape above you. But now they've like shrunken in in a matter of moments to create this loose cage around your troop to the point where the light above in the canopy is almost invisible, almost not visible from where you stand, and there's this kind of like ominous pressure to keep you where you are. Hello. Oh, we feel... must be going. We came to say we're sad to say we must be going. A hundred <laughs> flowers <laughs> pop out came. of the tree around you. <laughs> but all the same. You must be going. Hola. As you kind of, as you're singing, they all kind of shake a little bit, and almost sway. Start to slowly, while smiling, move towards what little exit there is. Yeah, towards that direction, the tree shifts to kind of block your exit. Oh no. I feel like there's a failure to communicate here of some kind. Mm -hmm. um, Fern, can you talk? To yes, yes. Uh, your friends? Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna just tap you with some guidance. Okay. Um, we need to go to Nana's. So can you guide us there, or? You can make an insight or nature check, your choice. Mm. Mm. Not nature. <laughs> Not for one. Mm, no. Isn't that two in a row? Yeah. Mm. It's been a little bit since you've been here, and even in the time that you spent, most of it was was in Nana's house. Yeah, I've never and so been out here. You don't feel oh, threatened, right. but you're you're not quite. They don't act like this around you. No. And you're a little confused. Is it me? It's me. I'm doing this. Maybe I'm, don't just yeah. analyze this. Eyes, Maybe it's because we smashed because some of the flowers. What? I, I didn't smash them. Oh, I, no, you're blaming. I love no, 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 I was just saying. dead a few days ago. I, fuck, I was. <laughs> We've all had a long week. It's not turn on each other. Ash and I had the whole cooking thing. Yeah. I'm still about halfway through that. get actually. away from these trees? What do they want? Can you ask them that? Sure. Um, I'm going to lean into one of the flowers. Hmm. Um, could you tell Nana that I'm here, please? And why are we being held under this tree? Do you speak with plants? <laughs> You're just talking. I mean, why not? I assumed you would have speak with plants. <laughs> You're a druid. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> the flower. It's very situational. It was spell. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. This is only viable 
because of your fey nature. Oh, I rolled a 20. Okay. That persuasion you said? Yes. Uh, 26. Oh! <laughs> Disadvantage. Okay. Disadvantage? Oh, some of the flowers kind of recoil a little bit. And some of them kind of lean towards Laudna. Some of them lean towards you. And they just kind of shift expectantly, like they're waiting for something. Oh, oh the right. singer, the singer. Sing. Um, so uh, here's what I think. We can do um, like a little two eight count uh, routine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that it has like a forward, you know, box step motion, and we do a little song and a dance as we move through. Yeah. Sure. That sounds great. You know. Uh, unless they want to keep us here because of the singing. That's. Yeah, but maybe you just have to sing well and we can leave? Oh no. Yeah, I feel like if we can't we sing. To, has anyone ever done like parades, you know? Oh. Or, like a little, you know, you, we walk and sing. I'm going to take out my pan flute. Can you let us out? We want to leave your cage. I'm Some gonna, of them kind of shift and focus oh in your direction. Are you gonna do this? I'm just I'm as cast for enhance ability on her. Head opening charisma. Okay. I'm playing my pan flute. That's probably better. Okay. So you start singing. You start playing your pan flute. Okay. A lot of Pretty flowers. Can <laughs> you let us out? What was your tune? I, I did, lost I it. I wasn't making any, dude. Um, fuck. <laughs> More flowers, like <laughs> all emerging from the. You can hear the outside of the the uh, the trunk cracking as more flowers are like digging their way out to open up and listen to the presence of this din that you're creating. Oh my god. Should we? Should we Don't all you have, like, form a an box? acapella group? I think so. <laughs> I gave that to. <laughs> but they're they're responding to the pan flute and the the little okay. soft singing. I'm gonna keep playing my pan flute. Can you walk towards the edge? I would like you both to make performance checks for me, please. You're mm. just dying in the arms tonight. You have advantage. Must have been oh, really? something you say. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh. Yes. And a one. So thank oh. you. <laughs> On the same diet. Wait, that's like the Yeah, take a picture of that shit. Fern? 21. Oh. 21. Should have walked away. Your flute music is intoxicating in this space. You play well in general, but there's something about being back home that brings this comfort. And the. The clarity of the pipe begins to, or the, the, the pipes of the flute, begins to slide around, almost jazz-like. There it is. As the flowers seem to like move and shift with it, you continue to sing along with it, and you. Scatting. Sure, by all means. No, I did that. <laughs> Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Everybody. As you do this, some of the heavy tree roots kind of like rise and. Please, please, please. Trying to kind it's of like keep in time of this oh, weird. Just. Fluid jazz beat that you're She's crafting. You can't. It's <laughs> but it's trying. Uh, and as you slowly begin to slide your way out one by one from between this kind of tree trunk cavernous cage, all the flowers shift and like stretch towards you. The tree cave begins to open up as the parts dislodge and like reconnect to larger tree branches, all the flowers, now hundreds and hundreds of them, their coloration getting to a deeper and deeper red in unison as they all face your direction, giving this like weird blanket of color in front of you in the middle of this dark green and purple jungle. And right as you step about 30 or 40 feet away, all hundreds and hundreds of flowers at once 
just screech and then vanish into the tree as the tree stops moving. Oh, the whole party screamed like that for sure. Okay. <laughs> Are we free? Go, 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 that's oh, yes. Wow. They loved it. Are you kidding? Uh, you couldn't hear that? Oh, man. Yes. Yes, it's all right. The the the, the vocal, uh, um, it's a little different here when things. We've been here ten like minutes. Something. Not even. Jazz is chaos. Jazz is chaos. So such chaos. <sighs> but you also pick up a familiar scent. Oh, the smell of. Burning oils, oils that are squeezed from some of the swamp roots, the lanterns that your Nana uses. You're close. Did you break your hand, Jazzy? I can smell it. Just a couple of you know, my joints all just, just, you know, as supple as they used to be. Oh, thank you, Chetney. It's better. Hey, Chetney. Huh? Did you smell that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go. I'm gonna follow the scent. Okay, easy enough for you to do. You're going is... towards it? Yes, that's where Nana's house is. Oh, God. <laughs> Following Fern as she toucan sams her way through <laughs> <laughs> the pathway of this See the occasional tangled loop morass. There's like an actual oh. string of smell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Feet lifting off the ground. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, picnic basket? <laughs> the rest of you. You can't see his catchphrase. I dropped a couple rails there, but I, I see where you landed. Just, <laughs> just follow my nose, it always knows. <laughs> Bad rhyme, I didn't notice just now. Indeed. Okay. Through Fern's focus and smile, you just begin to excitedly leap and bound through the bits. It's a little challenging for the rest of you to keep up, but you do your best, and you can't help but notice every now and then in the deep shadow beyond hundreds of feet of roots and trees and trunks, large shadows like just shift and move up above and around, unable to quite make out what they are before they've stopped moving or they've moved from sight. And you're uncertain if it's actually something or if it's just you, but it's disconcerting. And you just hope sticking close to her will be enough to keep you safe. Eventually, the marshlands get thicker and thicker, and then all at once, break open into a spherical dome-like opening amongst them. This hidden glade amongst this heavy, twisted, almost bramble-like wall of trees and branches. In here, you see an enormous tree-like structure in the center, enshrouded in an endless tangle of teal, moss-covered vines that seem to protrude and then dangle hundreds of feet down the outside of it to the point where you cannot see the tree itself. It looks like a, a massive, natural pom-pom. Like a, like a, a, a frozen waterfall of streamers of deep green and teal, completely obfuscating the center of the tree. You can see faintly glowing flowers of red and purple as well that kind of occasionally peek through, familiar from the surroundings. This tree rises a hundred feet or more up, just scraping the top of this dome, open space. And the shape of the tree implies a dozen or more massive thick branches that curve and rise out of its sides. The blanket of fines dangling over that to almost be like drapes that kind of bound and then fall and fall and then stop as they kind of dangle like weeping willow at all sides of it. You cannot see the true details, but you do pick up within this endless cluster of vines hundreds of small nests empty wooden cages, lanterns that still flicker, a small flame within, and many, many unique wreaths that have all been tied throughout, just subtly decorating it on all sides. 
The air here hangs with a heavy weight. A presence that leaves your breath thick and chilled. Welcome home, friend. Do you feel that? In your chest? Yeah, that warmth. That heavy warmth. No, but you seem to be glowing with with happiness, so go see your name. Okay. I'm gonna start booking it to oh. the front door. She the starts front. running. She just lives in the tree all covered <laughs> in vines. It's pretty nice. It's really beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful house. As she charges up to it, you're like, is she gonna climb the vines? Where is it going? And as she gets within five feet, you watch as a large section of the vines pull apart like curtains or drapes. And immediately you can just see beyond that, the shattered interior, just the faintest bit of warm, flickering firelight sourced somewhere within the canopy. Do you follow? Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. With a healthy gate, yeah. like, between. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She is darting and ascending up, I assume. Oh, yes. Like, skipping ahead of them. Yes. Full speed, full sprint. You step within the tree, and you can see the actual trunk of this structure. This is probably <laughs> the largest tree you've seen aside from the sun tree. It's comparable in its thickness. Wow. Um, and you can tell about 30 feet up, it splits into two separate trunks that then wrap around each other in a corkscrew upward. And along the corkscrew, multiple branches that settle off as you look up. And each one of these little branches seems to caress like a hand, a little hut or a room with little wooden bridges that connect, or little wooden staircases that wind up. Shut this up. is a. This, this was Finley Robinson would blush and be jealous of this abode. <laughs> Fern, you grew up here. Yes. Just as a voice fills the air. Hinta, we knew you were coming. Nana? <laughs> you hear that from above, and the stairs, you can see now the base of the trunk of the tree. There are wooden stairs that kind of spiral up the side, like they're grown out of it, almost like a series of natural branches pushed out and stopped and gave a flat step each way as they just kind of mark their way up along the side. You know this path well. Fern just vanishes up them. Yeah, yeah. okay. As you ascend them, you can see dangling from the the not quite as dense hanging vines and tethered bits of uh, kind of limp fern branches that kind of tickle the top of your head as you push through. There are little glowing baubles that are wrapped up with wire and twine that kind of give a soft glow, different colored glows, some green, some orange, some like a pale blue. This place is intentionally decorated in a very odd patchwork way, but it it's 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 hard to to grasp a presence specifically here. At times it's beautiful and welcoming, at times it's borderline nightmarish. <laughs> but as you climb up the side of this, you eventually come to where the base of the fork of the trunk begins. And there you're greeted by a low lit cozy entryway, a flat expanse at the base of where the split is. You can see it's decorated in knitted dolls placed on little naturally warped tables. You can see animal skeletons that have been posed in dancing positions with each other that are placed up on little shelves and along the sides of the entryway. You can see alien-looking potted plants that seem to be taking root on their side of the room and guarding it fiercely. More of the staircases and rope bridges you can see begin to splinter off from here and lead higher and higher up to the tree. Oh, how we have missed 
to you. I've missed you so bad! I run over and I just leap into her arms. You see her leap into this shape, this shadowed shape on the opposite side of this area that kind of like grabs her for a second and sets her down. What's the size comparison? Uh, the shoulders of this sit at about eight or so feet, seven, eight feet. So higher than fern. The shoulders are wide. In fact, the torso, from what you can tell, is like a barrel, like a massive seven-foot barrel. Um, it's a, a curious, monstrous body that, after setting her down, kind of shifts in your direction, begins to step further into the light, one arm kind of corralling her as you pull it towards them. It's swathed in a large, patterned, blue-green, robe-like dress that's comprised of patches and rope and wayward branches and hanging trinkets all just kind of wound together to create this unique texture around this body. You cannot see feet from beneath the robes, but can hear them hit the ground like a dropped sack of full flour with each step. Does it sound like just two feet? It sounds like two feet. Okay. Just big ones. Now the wide shoulders themselves are thin. They come out like pointed, skeletal shoulders. The sleeves extending these long, thin arms. You see around the top of the dress, from where these shoulders are, they're obscured by a bunch of dark linen and chiffon that creates like a mantle around it. And from within that mantle, you watch emerge a head on a stretching, craning neck. <laughs> craning like a giraffe. What the fuck? <laughs> wreathed in long, tangled white hair, like a horse's mane that travels down the whole length of it as it extends about two and a half, three feet from the shoulders. At the end of it, you see a wrinkled old woman's face with a pair of noseless nostril holes, a terrifying wide smile of jagged teeth. Her dark eyeless sockets each hold a sunken golden glow. And as the body steps forward, cradling Fern, the full thing at standing height would be close to 10 feet or so with if the head were to stand up straight. The proportions, colloquially, are very similar to E.T., to be honest. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that got weird. Interesting. As she steps forward. Fern, would your friends yes. like a cocktail? Oh, oh my god, yes. Yes, Please. yes, let's get some cocktails, let's put some music on. I'm sorry we came in unannounced, but guys, this is my Nana Maury. <laughs> Wonderful so to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Welcome, welcome. We have guests. You hear a voice say, Welcome, it's Will. Oh, is she, does she have a partner? Or? No, that's her. That's also her? More than that. Okay. So grandma. She like pulls open the front of the dress and you see the barrel torso a massive pair of sunken eyes and a second mouth that stretches across the entirety of the belly that curls into a smile. Hi. She kind of pats it with the larger arms. We haven't had guests in a while. We're excited. Come, let me show you to my tiki bar. <laughs> and that's where in tonight's episode. Oh, wow. <laughs> what the hell? She's so cool. Yes. Best grandma ever. Oh, I, love I want to be my grandma. Holy Just shit! Sweet. 
Oh, Did you know what it's like? I was really, oh, I, I was hoping you'd make more sense, and now I'm even a little more oh, confused about it. Welcome home, yes. Holy shit. Isn't that so beautiful? Yes. That's amazing. Oh, amazing. oh back, my God, Matt. Thank you. Welcome back, Tallison. I have yeah. so many more pasta-themed terrible stories to tell. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> such a collection. So we're off next mm. week? Oh. Uh, for the premiere? For uh, the premiere, yes. It all right. Is whatever I said at the beginning of this oh. is accurate. There you which go. I believe was no episode next week, but definitely on the on last the Thursday. The, yeah. the last yeah. Thursday of the month. Just a little, 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 little swap a do. But hey, the this premiere. Month. The premiere. Yeah. 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 And hey, now's a good time to catch up. Maybe rewatch season one just to prepare. Yes, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And then you'll be ready for, for season two. It's uh, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Woo. All right, friends. We'll pick oh. this up next time. Until then, thank you for joining us. We love you very much. And is it Thursday? Yeah. Yay! Yay. 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 Yay.